You're listening to GCN. Great Talk Radio starts here. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, I will assure you, my friends, this is going to be a Tuesday edition of the worldwide broadcast on this 26th day of March 2013 that you will not want to miss. Uh, a couple days ago, Jim Carrey, the comedian and Hollywood star, he's a star and you're not. Uh, he's got bodyguards and you don't. And so does Michael Moore, but that's okay. Uh, he put out a video that only broke in the press yesterday. That's when I saw it and when I noticed it was in a lot of newspapers, lauding him in a very, very nasty uh, piece uh, demonizing a dead man, Charlton Heston. And, and, and in the attitude of this, we see the same attitude of uh, Dianne Feinstein and uh, Al Gore and uh, all the other anti-gunners like Michael Moore. In it, we see the incredible uh, nastiness uh, where they say it's his fault people die, period, and that he's not going to heaven, and that he's basically a murderer. I have the text of it right here. Uh, we're not going to play it. It's got profanity in it. But the video is up on Infowars.com. Um, but, it, it, you know, what's bad is I've never been a huge Jim Carrey fan, but he has had some you know, decent roles. And I just, I, I'm getting to where I can't hardly go see movies. And I won't watch movies uh, that have people in them that, it's not that they disagree with me. If somebody was really fooled and said, hey, I don't think we should, you know, the citizens should have guns, like Jim Hightower, who was in studio with me last week on the Nightly News. We're going to play a clip of that today former Texas Agriculture Commissioner and kind of an uh, organic activist who I respect on that front. You know, he calmly explained why he doesn't think we need semi-autos and then had to admit the government's arming to the teeth, so why should we give our guns up? I mean, he, he, he had a real discussion with me. But when you start making fun of people that were amazing human beings like Charlton Heston, you know, I got a chance to interview Charlton Heston a couple times. I mentioned it a few years ago. People didn't believe it, so we could barely find one of the interviews. One of them is lost. There's there's a one eight bit, you know, horrible internet recording that's now been put up to YouTube, uh, and I, and I can't find a, a, another interview I did with him. And he he gave me his home phone number after I had him on the first time and said, if you ever need to talk strategy about the Second Amendment or liberty, you you, know, you can call me. And I said I can call you, and he goes, yeah, I'm a regular guy. She, and I, I I called up and uh, I mean I never I, I didn't call him for about a year. It was just weird having Charlton Heston's phone number. I don't call really any of the famous people I know for whatever reason. I just they've got their life. I've got mine. And I called a few times. He didn't answer. I called back one day. He answered. Uh, what well, hi? This is a Chuck. And I was sitting there talking. I've had Ted Nugent's cell phone number for a while. Never called it. I called it this morning. Driving into work about an hour ago, and he goes, what are you calling about what uh, Kerry said about Heston? And I'm all over it. And I've never heard him so focused and so angry, focused anger. And he said, you bet I'm coming on your show. I got to do Dennis Miller, and uh, he's doing it right now. And then he's going to come on at noon. And, and he said, listen, this is another miscalculation. His nastiness is going to backfire on them just like Piers Morgan. And, of course, he agrees that the Piers Morgan thing was a Death Star exploding level event for the globalist. And I'm not just putting, patting myself on the back. I didn't realize it till a few days after just how effective it was. I was kind of, I'm my own biggest critic. And I was like, ah, yeah, I think it was good to get in his face. You know, they tried to spin it so neocons would say, this is terrible. Standing up and getting aggressive is the wrong way to go. Why, this is almost like Paul Revere who rode around screaming in the night saying, kill people. You know, I'm just yelling at somebody a little bit and saying, how dare you try to disarm us? How dare I talk like that? I mean, imagine that, that the, that's not even one-tenth as bad as that criminal Paul Revere. So it totally backfired on him. 
Uh, and uh, we're, but we're going to go over this, and we're going to go over all the geopolitical news, the economic news. It's all crazy. But the tyranny is on, folks. And if they can get our guns, they're going to get everything. Uh, but we're going to be breaking this down today and more and your phone calls. Stay with us. Ted Nugent coming up. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at InfoWars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. If you're listening, you know your basic freedoms are being threatened every day. If you're listening, you know the economy is not getting better. You know gas and food prices are skyrocketing. Now is the time to get prepared. For years, we've told you about our friends at eFoods Direct. They have the best tasting, long-term storable food on the planet. This food will taste just as great 25 years from now as it does tonight. A long-term food supply allows you to freeze the cost and the availability of the one thing you need most. Be prepared and get your supply from eFoods Direct. Right now is the best time to stock up and save hundreds of dollars with free shipping on all food supplies. Give yourself peace of mind and be prepared. Act now and call 800-409-5633 or visit eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Get free shipping on all orders for a limited time. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. You can bet your life on eFoods Direct. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Make no mistake, my friends, the battle for human liberty is taking place right now. And the heart of that fight is here in the United States because the United States will either be an engine for the globalists to loot and pillage the world or it will once again become an engine of innovation and liberty and that shining fortress on the hill. Ladies and gentlemen, something snapped in me last night when I saw a video that came out a few days ago but only got attention in the news yesterday by the somewhat washed up uh, Canadian uh, anti-individualist uh, Jim Carrey. I saw a video of him celebrating Charlton Heston's death and defaming him, defaming a dead man who I personally had a chance to interview several times and who I had a chance to talk to off air once. And I've never told that story because that's was private. I will talk a little bit about it today. And I had a chance to talk to Ted Nugent this morning, who you could tell was very upset 
because he was very close friends with Charlton Heston. When you see people that are clearly authoritarians dancing on patriots' graves, it's disgusting. Charlton Heston, as he got older, became even more of a gentleman and more of a real person. I don't even admire him for his great acting ability and all of his wonderful films that I have enjoyed throughout my life, like Ben-Hur, The Ten Commandments. Uh, oh, the list is just countless. The films he did with uh, great directors like Orson Welles, Soylent Green. I admired him because... I, working in talk radio uh, and, and fighting for the Second Amendment, got to know a lot of people that really knew Charlton Heston well. And he was really a super down-to-earth, super manly, classy guy in amongst a bunch of spoiled, rotten, lazy, pampered Hollywood people. And the fact that uh, I had his home phone number... And, you know, he said, if you ever want to talk about strategy or anything happening, give me a call. So I, about a year after I had his number and he'd been on a few times, I called him a few times and he didn't answer because nobody answered. It was just an office phone. And one day he said, well, if I can never pick up, I will. And I, he picked up the phone and I talked to him, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. And I didn't even tell my wife about it. And... You know, he talked about one of my films he'd seen and about how, you know, it was up to younger people like myself to carry on the fight. And the point was, he was really taking time out to give me energy. He really cared. He sat there talking to more than 50 people most weeks, working hard. And I know it made his wife so angry. That, that's come out in the press, that, 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 that he really had an instinct. And you watch his eyes in that famous NRA speech. We all see, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Heston obviously made mistakes in political endorsements and things, but he was a trailblazer. He was somebody who marched with Martin Luther King when it wasn't popular. He was somebody that, you know, went and was part of uh, civil rights sit-ins in Oklahoma and Alabama when people were getting killed. He didn't come to the whole thing late. As Mark Twain said in the beginning, a patriot is a scarce man, hated and feared and scorned. But in time when his cause succeeds, the timid join him because then it costs nothing to be a patriot. And just even after, and then it was like a year or two after I talked to him, because I had his number. I didn't want to bug him. I didn't want to bother him. That, you know, then his wife rolls him out, obviously on medication, to say, oh, well, I probably went a little too far sometime, and then you never saw him again. They put him on 2020. And I knew people that have talked to him right up to the time that he just suddenly, clearly on medication, didn't know who he was. Kind of like they did to Ronald Reagan to shut him up. And to just know that this was a guy who who from the time that he was a young man in Illinois and then living in Michigan in places, hunted and fished, and was somebody who really loved freedom and, and, and was a civil rights activist, not just for the Second Amendment, but for free speech. I heard him once uh, on a local ad endorsing a state rep uh, who, who was, what was his name, Green, uh, who was fighting for vitamin and mineral rights. You know, for, for uh, and, and, and then I heard Heston later on the radio locally defending supplements. I mean, he just defended freedom. And then to watch some sack of pus like Jim Carrey gleefully trash him up one side and down the other, it didn't get to me and hurt me in the way they thought, how low they were, how pathetic and how weak they were. And to watch all the bad actors running around and the, quote, cute girls, and then they laugh at Heston at the end and say, you know, it's your fault all the kids died and you're not going to heaven because you're a gun owner. And then they all laugh at him, thinking that people watching that collectively, people watching that collectively are supposed to then feel bad about guns and be ashamed. And it was so shoddy. And you know why it made me feel bad?
because Jim Carrey is such a bad actor, making a few funny faces, that they're so weak and Hollywood's so weak and the globalists really are weak. And so what does it say about us that we let them dominate us and we let them control us and we let them sit there and walk all over somebody? Let me tell you something. I've got stacks of interview requests in there every day and I can't physically do them. Okay, I am 39 years old and have a lot of stamina, ladies and gentlemen, and I, I, it is torture sometimes to do the nightly news, but I'm so angry at the tyrants, I roll up and do it. I was up here till like 7.30 last night shooting a special reports we're going to air this week. My shoulder was aching and uh, from an old football injury, and I had a headache, and I hadn't eaten, and, and, but I still just willed it. And I'm not saying I'm tough. 39 years old, folks, having to fight having to fight to get the info out and feeling guilty every night when I drive home that I haven't done enough to defend my family and that I'm weak and I'm dominated by scum. And that's exactly how Charlton Heston felt. Almost 80 years old, ladies and gentlemen. On the phone and on airplanes and giving speeches everywhere to defend freedom because he had that instinct. And I hadn't seen his NRA speech in years. And I watched that last night and I got tears in my eyes when he talks about how it's the patriot that smells the tyranny and rises up against it. And what all of our ancestors did to stand up against evil, to have flocks of anti-liberty foreigners from countries that are under that are subjects to the Queen of England that we fought against. Canadians and Brits and others who are great people on average, but their political instincts are that of slaves. They were raised under it. To come here and lecture us and to tell our dead hero that he's a piece of crap that isn't going to heaven and that the dead kids are his fault. I take that very, very, very personal. They'll love to make fun of me when I'm dead or you're dead. These people have set up re-education centers. It says that in the Army Manual. These people have plans to take our guns. They have plans to use the police against us. And it's time to rise up politically and get super aggressive. I wish I would have been more aggressive with Piers Morgan. It's time to realize just how evil these people are. Sure, I'm sure Jim Carrey's, you know, obviously a mentally ill. I've watched film footage of him last night doing some research when he's just out in public and stuff and doesn't even know he's being filmed. He's obviously autistic or something. I feel sorry for him. Okay? He's just a circus freak. But the people that rolled him out there, they are our mortal enemies. Folks, they're not just taking the Second Amendment. They're taking everything right now. They're shutting down our energy. They're dumbing our kids down. They're shooting us up with deadly vaccines. They, they are arming Al-Qaeda. Look at this, Obama, post-Assad Syria of Islamist extremism is a nightmare scenario saying we'll have to invade when al -Qaeda. They put Al-Qaeda in, arm them, and then we've got to have troops go die to take it over, to put in some Al-Qaeda light. I mean, this is insane. This is crazy. There's the London Guardian. I mean, I declare that I'm going to live in reality. We have become so accustomed to living under oppression. We have become so accustomed to all of this. And just to know how anti-individual these status worshipers are, like Jim Carrey and the rest of them. Because you know the globalists are just hardcore criminals with their own bodyguards and their own guns. And you know, they have a will to dominate. I get it. I don't like it. But I respect it. And I know that's an enemy who's conscious. But the throngs of the mindless, gibbering followers that think literally are scared of defending themselves, scared of being a human, scared of being a mammal. All mammals protect themselves and fight back. You can grab a field mouse that's in your glove compartment out in the country. Sometimes they get in your car and you're trying to get them out nicely and they'll kick at you and snap at you. And I've had a field mouse bite me trying to get it out of a farm truck I was working on when I was a kid. I was like 13 years old out driving a farm truck out to a shredder. The point is, is that um, field mouse will fight back. I mean, I can't, are we men? Or are we mice? Hell, we're not even mice. And, and just what have we become, my sweetest friend? Everything and everyone I love goes away in the end. And then I've got to sit there and I've got to watch this piece of garbage squat on top of the grave of Charlton Heston and all of us. They hate him because he was real, he was honorable, and he got tears in his eyes when he talked about liberty. And he quoted Thomas Jefferson talking about the farmers.
the people of the earth, the people that live and work. You can't really live and work in the soil and, 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 and build your own system and not be pro-gun. Just as you're pro-liberty, just as you're pro-common sense, we must rediscover common sense, the spirit of common sense. We must pray for redemption. We must seek God's face and repent. We're going to come back with the desecration of Charlton Heston. Devastating events like earthquakes, tornadoes, floods, hurricanes, or the threat of martial law have highlighted the need for Americans to prepare for emergencies. As a result, millions are stockpiling food, gold, and weapons. But how will these items help if you or one of your loved ones becomes ill? Supernatural Silver is the ultimate tool to prepare you for a medical emergency. Supernatural Silver is a natural antibiotic that is uniquely effective against bacteria, viruses, molds, and fungus, and is remarkable for wound care. Taken internally or used topically, it can help keep you safe from deadly pathogens. Supernatural Silver has over 500 different uses and a long-term shelf life, making it the number one choice of preppers across the country. To find out how this amazing new technology can help you be prepared, go to SupernaturalSilver.com. Use the promo code PREPARE for 20% off your entire order and like us on Facebook. March into big spring preparedness savings this month at BePrepared.com. Going on now. Emergency Essentials and BePrepared.com save you 28% off your favorite beef and chicken combo entrees. Save 24% on number 10 cans of freeze-dried raspberries. Or save 26% on our freeze-dried strawberry slices with purchase of 12 or more. Catadine Pocket Micro Water Filters are 27% off. Try our fruit-flavored Hydro Pack Combo Water Filtering Pouches. In March, buy 5 10 packs for a 50% discount. Stock up on wheat with a year's supply of grains for $70 off only at BePrepared.com. And this month, power up with a Goal Zero Sherpa 50 solar-powered recharging kit at $110 off MSRP, and we'll throw in a free $50 emergency essentials gift card. The March sale ends March 31st at BePrepared.com. For contents and details, call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or click BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Ceramic Body Armor is rated to stop six hits. But what about the seventh? Unlike Ceramic or Kevlar, Infidel Body Armor is proven to take hit after hit, and it just won't quit. Reasonably priced and designed for the smart civilian prepper, Infidel stops hundreds of hits from small arms to high-powered rifles. That means safety and peace of mind. Buy yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. We the people grow cotton, we fabric, and Grave Inc. embeds strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Hi, Ted Anderson. I'm placing a silver dollar in a book explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Weakened by GMOs, stressed out about money, and blasted by the electric environment. Hi, I'm Pastor Jenny, and that was the state I was in back in 2010. Then I learned about RNA drops. I learned that 97% of my DNA that scientists have called junk is actually packed with millions of gene switches that play a critical role in controlling how my cells, organs, and other tissues behave. I learned I don't have to put up with disease decay or decline like I'd been conditioned to believe. I began taking RNA Drops, a 100% natural formula designed to turn on those switches and provide me with amazing health and joy. Learn more about RNA Drops and order a free sample today. Visit rnafreesample.com. That's rnafreesample.com. Or call toll-free 888-577-3703. Pay only shipping and handling for a free 30-day supply of RNA drops. Get the information you need and the health you want at rnafreesample.com. Imagine if the Lord were here and he knew what you've been thinking. Would his sacred heart be sinking into the canyon of dismay? And on the ones who sell the guns, he'd sick the vultures and coyotes. Only the devil's true devotees could profiteer. 
And he goes on, that's Jim Carrey, uh, saying that the kids are dead because of Charlton Heston, that the coyotes are killing people in Mexico because of Charlton Heston. I mean, it goes on for like five minutes, just blaming everything in the world on him and saying he's not going to heaven, that, his, that he will basically go to hell. And it's just totally nasty. And then Carrey put out tweets calling gun owners scum. We're guilty for dead kids. What about government killing 200 and 60 plus million people in the 20th century alone and tens of millions already this century. I mean, you're not upset about government having guns. Do you actually sit there and call 911 if somebody's trying to break in your you know, gated community? No, you don't. You have bodyguards. I looked it up. You have firearms, Mr. Kerry. You are out here blaming us for death when crime rate has dropped 49% since 1991, FBI's own statistics. Hard numbers. Violent crime, violent criminals are scared, and your spirit is with the criminals, and the globalists are the master criminals, and they, when a robber comes into a bank, they say, hands up, and they tell the off-duty cop, lower your gun, put it on the ground, and that's the guy they put in handcuffs or tie up. And it's the same thing. The globalists are, hands up, they've got guns, they're buying guns, they're buying tanks, they're buying armored vehicles, and they're pointing guns at us saying, hands up. Now, listen to just part of Charlton Heston's speech. He gave back at the NRA more than a decade ago this, this famous speech where he said, from my cold, dead hand. But listen to the intro of it where he talks about the people that first sense the tyranny. And you can see the electricity in his eyes. Even though he's old, he animates. And that's why he was a great actor, because it was passion. It was real. He animates. And, 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 and again, we are then one with Charlton Heston and every other patriot that came before him. Right back to George Washington and patriots before them who did not like tyrants and who had courage. I mean, if you don't have the basic instinct to want to be free, if you don't have the basic instinct to know that tyranny is taking over, then you have no future. Look at how weak we become. Look at how jellyfish. And then those of us that are still men, those of us that are still women, still human, still have an instinct to be self-sufficient. We are guilty for what your Prozac heads do and your staged events. Let's go to Charlton Heston from the grave. He lives on. Charlton Heston lives, and I know you hate it, tyrants. Here it is. When freedom shivers in the cold shadow of true peril, it's always the patriots who first hear the call. That's why those five words issue an irresistible call to us all, and we must. So, as uh, we set out this year to defeat the divisive forces that would take freedom away, I want to say those fighting words for everyone within the sound of my voice to hear and to heed from my cold, dead hands. When we come back, I'm going to play a, a larger clip of that. It was a, a longer speech. Uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, this system is fundamentally, fundamentally erasing every basic liberty. And it is always the common people that w wake up and turn back the tide of total authoritarianism. But in most countries, that hasn't happened. So there's no productivity, there's no liberty, there's no due process. So everything crumbles and falls apart because the instinct of tyrants is to finally not let anyone even produce because then that makes you self sufficient and basically uppity. We are fighting a total Agenda 21 takeover system worldwide. We are fighting abject social engineering, and we're facing authoritarians that cloak themselves in the rubric of liberal or humanitarian, where, where they tell you they have the high ground and you're bad unless you do what they say. Well, I refuse your mantle of guilt. And, and, and it, again, it doesn't mean we go follow the fake Republicanoid conservative uh, rhinos either. That's how the globalists took over, is they have that as the stand-in so that they can look, make it look like there's a full spectrum of choice. Carol Quigley wrote about that in his Georgetown writings and in Tragedy and Hope, how they wanted it to look like there was choice, but there wasn't.
And when you look at the vitriol, the hatred, I mean, Michael Moore comes out and says, evil whites want guns, evil whites that live in the country and make $60,000 a year. And that sounds so crazy, but it shows the hatred they have for anybody who sells sufficient and how they want to create division. We'll be right back. Stay with us with the full testing clip. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Now that we have moved into the winter season, there is an increased need to support our immunity and health. At Silver Lungs, we are committed to meeting your needs by providing a full selection of silver-based products. Our most popular silver-based products are the 32-ounce Nano Silver Solutions, our 2-ounce Nano Silver Nasal Applicators, as well as our all-natural silver soaps. Just released is our 100% natural silver gel. Our new silver gel is not based on synthetic gelling agents, which quickly evaporate and leave the silver at the surface. But rather, we have formulated our silver gel using the natural skin nourishing chemistry of aloe vera to quickly penetrate and nourish the skin while delivering the silver more effectively. Visit www.silverlungs.com and click on our store page to find what silver-based products are best for you. That's www.silverlungs.com. Devastating events like earthquakes, tornadoes, floods, hurricanes, or the threat of martial law have highlighted the need for Americans to prepare for emergencies. As a result, millions are stockpiling food, gold, and weapons. But how will these items help if you or one of your loved ones becomes ill? Supernatural Silver is the ultimate tool to prepare you for a medical emergency. Supernatural Silver is a natural antibiotic that is uniquely effective against bacteria, viruses, moles, and fungus, and is remarkable for wound care taken internally or used topically it can help keep you safe from deadly pathogens supernatural silver has over 500 different uses and a long-term shelf life making it the number one choice of preppers across the country to find out how this amazing new technology can help you be prepared go to supernaturalsilver.com use the promo code prepared for 20 percent off your entire order and like us on facebook you prepare by purchasing gold, food, and firearms. But if you don't have a home security system, then you're missing a critical weapon in your arsenal for home protection. When you're sleeping or away from home, who's watching out for intruders? Check out Simply Safe. It's a new do-it-yourself home security system that is completely wireless. Go to GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is independent and off the grid. It runs on battery power, so even if the grid goes down, you're protected. It's completely customizable, so you can use it in your home, business, boat, trailer, storage unit, or shed. Get SimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is also ridiculously easy to install yourself in under 20 minutes, so there's no need to let a stranger into your home. If you move or need to relocate, you can take the system with you wherever you go. You aren't always at home, but Simply Safe will stand guard, protecting your property 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, that's GetSimplySafe.com. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., we're here. Ted Nugent, good friend of Charlton Heston, is going to be joining us uh, at the start of the next hour. If they can stick their hands down our pants at the TSA, if they can take your property without due process, uh, if they can secretly arrest Americans and disappear us, if they can openly say they're spying on us and reading all of our bank records. Remember just six, seven years ago, that was a conspiracy theory. Of course, it came out they were. If they can throw the gauntlet down and have us accept it, and then openly have the Southern Poverty Law Center and ADL demonize anyone that talks about the billions of bullets, the thousands of armored vehicles, hundreds of thousands of new rounds being bought a week, the militarization of police. This is the takeover, and they're trying to use psych warfare like Tokyo Rose broadcasting to the Pacific Fleet and Admiral Nimitz saying, you've been defeated, America will be invaded. Your ships are being sunk. Even as Japan was burning and it had atomic bombs dropped on it, Tokyo Rose was broadcasting saying America had been defeated.
Just like Baghdad Bob saying, there are no Americans in Iraq. We have kicked them out of the country. You see jets flying behind him and bombs going off. Well, it's the same type of propaganda to go, there are no bullets, there are no checkpoints, there is no tyranny, there is no fast and furious, we didn't give billions to fake energy companies, we didn't do anything wrong, we want to get America moving while they shut down the power plants, while they pass regulations so you can't have any business here, shipping it all to China. The globalists are authoritarians who hate Americans so much, their instinct is to hate liberty. That they're moving everything to authoritarian China where they have suicide nets, forced abortions, mobile execution vans. And you will never, you will never hear a Jim Carrey or anybody else criticize the communist Chinese that have killed more than 100 million of their own people. Close to 80 million, some estimates, just under Mao's reign. 100 million people, not counting 300 million abortions. Not counting over 100 million babies killed. They don't even count babies as humans up to about age one, the government. Notice the Journal of Bioethics has come out and said, oh, let's kill kids up to age three. Now the death panels are admitted. Remember, those didn't exist. These are authoritarians. And the Republican Party went along and helped write Obamacare. Because it's written by the same big equity groups that are taking over our energy systems and shutting off their competition. And they're making double the profits this year alone. They're set to make off of Obamacare, ripping you off and doubling the price and making you buy it. Okay, we're in deep trouble. And just like Bush could engage in tyranny, and Republicans wouldn't see any of it because he was their guy, you so-called Democrats are absolutely useful idiots. You are dupes and you are fools. Now, here is another segment of Charlton Heston's speech, where he is really speaking to the essence of the instinct to recognize tyranny. And, and I mean, it's blaring now. I heard it when it was like a hundred piece band down the road, but you could hear it, you hear the beat, hear the words, you know, very, very clear. You could hear the marching band and the sergeant leading them up two, up two, three, four. You could hear the whole thing. Now the 100-piece band is in the living room beating the drums as loud as they can. You can't hear anything. It's so loud. And people are saying, if you say you hear a sound of tyranny, it doesn't exist. It is going, and, and this is what happens. By successive approximation, incrementalism, and compartmentalization, and learned helplessness, and mass Stockholm syndrome, and normalcy bias, look all those things up, and the Stanford Research Prison Experiment test, they are artificially, by increments, people denied things were happening, they denied things were going on, the, the media, the authorities, the government said, oh, then none of that exists. Well, really, a black helicopter crashed in our town, they blew up a building, they arrested citizens that videotaped it, it's in my local paper. No, you didn't see that. Well, yeah, yeah, I have the local paper. No, you didn't. That's national TV. No, you didn't. Ron Paul, CNN said, is making up a NAFTA superhighway trans-Texas corridor that was in billboards and signs, cover of Newsweek. But when people turned against it, they came out and said, doesn't exist. I, I, I've played the clip where CNN says, Ron Paul is insane. This is like five years ago during that campaign. There is no trans-Texas corridor. Texans were like, the billboards are everywhere. They're, they're building Part of it right now, from Mexico up to Austin, it's going to go all the way to Canada. You, you told us it was a great idea. And they're like, didn't exist. And a lot of the public went, okay, it didn't exist. Because to win is to buy the lie. To win is to be a schmuck. To win is to be a sucker. To win is to be a fool. To win is to buy into illusion and delusion. Well, no, that's the illusion. That is not to win, being some cult member where Thuls of Doom, you know, says to one of the cult members up 500 feet on a ledge, come to me, come to me, my child, fly, fly. And then she jumps off and falls and smashes through the floor. That's what you people are like. And the New World Order is saying, we come in peace. I am your friend. There is no tyranny. Come to me, my child. Come to me. And I'm like, no, you're a snake like your father. You're the father of lies. I, I know what you are. I see you. I understand you. I am crazed with the animating force of liberty. You are animated with darkness, and I see you. I know what you are. And it's time to get aggressive in the face of the tyrants. People probably noticed I've gotten more intense because I have doubled and tripled and quadrupled down. I am trying to go 
she didn't breathe there for about a minute. I am trying to go as hard as I can against these people because I know the danger. I am fighting as hard as I can. And, and is some of it missteps? Is, do I make mistakes? Yes, but my heart is true. I know I'm right. It was so amazing talking to Ted Nugent today, uh, driving into work, because it was even more animated in private. The things he was saying will remain private. Uh, but he was just like, you know, Alex, we know in our gut and our heart, it's not just history. It's not just our supporters. We know we're right. We know these people are evil. And it's like, wow, this is a real guy. Because I called him up angry and, and but focused, and he was just like a laser beam. And, and I could tell he holds back when he's on air. I'm going to tell Ted, really tell him what you stand for. Because it's strong, and it's that male strength and energy that is going to lead by example, and then the women who are strong are going to see that and follow. The system has sold the idea of men to act weak, to act passive, act pathetic, like you're some type of lapdog pet. And that is not even what women really want. The globalists have made the state the man and the society the woman, and we are wedded to the state and wedded to the devil. Just as the Bible says we become wedded to Christ, he's the bridegroom. Well, we've been wedded to the state, and Hitler said that. The state will be the father. What has Chris Rock said? Obama is our daddy. I heard Republicans say Bush is our father. They call Uncle Joe Stalin father. They call uh, Fidel Castro papa. You're not my papa. I'm not a little boy. I'm a man. Oh, Fidel Castro can have guns. Hitler can have guns. Fidel, uh, you know, Castro's minions can have guns, but you can't have guns. Mal can have a gun. Political power goes out of the barrel of a gun. We're going to go to this Heston clip in a moment. But you, 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 you can't have a gun. And a dirty individualist like an Alex Jones or a Ted Nugent or a... Uh, Charlton Heston, there's nothing nastier to the collectivist with their armed guards and you know, Hollywood with all this government CIA funding and their, and, and, and their weapons and, and, and their gated communities, gates behind gates. In, in Hollywood, you drive into a big gate with armed guards and then there'll be another gate in a neighborhood to get into another gate. And then there'll be another gate on that house. And then a security office you know, built off the side of the house. That's how they all live. And they sit there and say, you're a dirty piece of garbage collectively because you own guns to protect yourself. I mean, that is a fraud. And here's the deal. They put out plenty of fake polls as of late saying everybody supports gun control. But Forbes went and paid one of the biggest data mining companies that openly with the cookie spies on everybody. And they published it. And then other data mining companies came out and said, uh, actually, it's a total explosion in your face. You've actually made people more pro-gun. It's over 70% that are pro-gun now. This has actually backfired. For a few weeks with the emotion, they got maybe a 10% reduction. People going, okay, I'll turn in my semi-auto, the weak-minded people. But then that made us supercharged with the truth in a counter-offensive, which they admitted in the data mining. It said it's military precision, smart bomb precision, that, that somehow were networked. They can't understand it with the data mining services. You can read the Forbes and other articles about it. because they, the, the, Not just Forbes, there's full reports on this. What scares them is they say it's as if we're connected. We're, not, we're connected to our gut, to our spirit, to our common sense. And that's when I called Ted Nugent. He's like, Alex... You can feel it, can't you? He goes, you know, we're, we're connected to history and honor and, and, and the truth. He goes, you can feel it, can't you? Exactly. It's electricity. Because you, you think you're not connected to your great, 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 great grandfather or grandmother. They raised a person, your ancestor, and, 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 and that person grew in their womb. And, 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 and was conceived out of that love and that passion in that hot bed with the genetics mixing, and then you grew in that woman's uterus, and then you came out in the world and people took care of you and loved you and taught you and set you up on the path and, and had to worry about you when you went off to war and had to worry about you, but, 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 but set you out there. It, it is hand-to-hand, -hand, a pure chain of electricity, a total connection. You can reach back, if you're related to George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, or if you were, and most of you have no idea who you're related to. 
There's an amazing history. Everybody has an amazing history. You are reaching back into tens of thousands of people that you're related to. And all of their experiences and everything they've done, there is a literal, not just spiritual or psychic connection. There is a physical transmission. And it's directly an electrochemical mitochondrial DNA carried by the women. And they're now finding genetic structures carried by the men on top of the genetics. They said that, they said that uh, uh, our chromosomes, our DNA is 94, 96% junk. And now they've learned, no, it's not. There's something else in there. It's the entire electrochemical history transmission recording. You call that your instinct. And man, you start tying into the race consciousness will of your ancestors. It is massive. It is mighty. And it is the gift that God has given us. And God's spirit of discernment energizes our very DNA. That's why so many scientists that were atheists are now becoming religious or Christians because they go, oh my God, it's resonating. It's transmitting. It's transcending. And that's what all the biomechanical garbage of the devil is about is to jam that and to block that and to openly sell you tyranny and evil. Tie in to your ancestors. Tie in to God's will. And you will want to fight tyranny just like Charlton Heston did. It's almost 80 years old on the phone doing 40, 50, 60 interviews a week, sometimes 20 interviews a day. And he wouldn't even be pitching or selling something most of the time. He wouldn't even be plugging a website. He would be promoting liberty. Because he cared because he was resonating with liberty. Now let's go to the Charlton Heston clip from the grave. He lives on. Here it is. Every time our country stands in the path of danger, an instinct seems to summon her finest first, those who truly understand her. When freedom shivers in the cold shadow of true peril, it's always the patriots who first hear the call. When loss of liberty is looming as it is now, the siren sounds first in the hearts of freedom's vanguard, the smoke in the air of our Concord bridges and Pearl Harbors is always smelled first by the farmers who come from their simple homes to find the fire and fight. Because they know that sacred stuff resides in that wooden stock and blued steel. Something that gives the most common man the most uncommon of freedoms. When ordinary hands can possess such an extraordinary instrument, that symbolizes the full measure of human dignity and liberty. That's why those five words issue an irresistible call to us all, and we must. So, <laughs> I hope that when my days are spent that I can say that I was an honorable man like So as uh, we set out Charlton Heston this year to defeat the divisive forces that would take freedom away I want to say those fighting words for everyone within the sound of my voice to hear and to heed and especially for you, Mr. Gore. <laughs> From my cold, dead hands. And again, he was a truly honorable person. You can look back in hindsight and say, well, Bush was bad too. Uh, but none of us could know how bad. But imagine how bad Al Gore would have been using a 9-11 to totally take over. But the point is, is that... Al Gore was saying, ban semi-autos, make you turn them in. And Charlton Heston understood how dangerous that was. But the point is, in that speech, that timeless speech, we really see the hammer and the chisel that can be used to cut and break our chains. And, and, and really recognize that Hollywood isn't a bunch of liberal buffoons. These are globalist psych warfare technicians who have an agenda 
And I've talked to many Hollywood people. If you're pro-gun, you don't get the roles. I've talked to major rock stars, and I'm not talking about Billy Corrigan or uh, folks like uh, Dave Mustaine uh, who are on record, but uh, I've talked to other uh, major rock stars. In fact, people that are even currently, you could say, bigger. Um, and they're like, I, I can't come on your show. Uh, they're giving me too much heat just for linking to your website or talking about you. And I've been told that I'm not going to be booked in the venues or put back on television if I do this. So I want to go play the major venues. And uh, they tell people that. You know, they come to them and uh, they tell them. They tell famous country music singers that. They tell major rock stars that. Uh, they tell Hollywood stars that. Uh, they told uh, Tom Selleck that. You're not going to get roles, pal. It doesn't matter if you're a you know, major leading man, number one in the 80s. You're done. You're not going to get financing. You're not going to get promoted. You're going to get zero if you don't play ball. And then you've got people like Bruckheimer and folks that are totally committed to the New World Order, Steven Spielberg, others. Uh, and uh, it's just atrocious. And I don't like being a slave of propaganda. I don't like it. And, 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 and it made me nauseous to see the patheticness of, of Jim Carrey and all these people. You know, folks are like, well, why do you care? They're, they're just scum. The point is, yeah, why is this scum ruling us? Okay? They need to be overturned. If you're listening, you know your basic freedoms are being threatened every day. If you're listening, you know the economy is not getting better. You know gas and food prices are skyrocketing. Now is the time to get prepared. For years, we've told you about our friends at eFoods Direct. They have the best tasting, long-term storable food on the planet. This food will taste just as great 25 years from now as it does tonight. A long-term food supply allows you to freeze the cost and the availability of the one thing you need most. Be prepared and get your supply from eFoods Direct. Right now is the best time to stock up and save hundreds of dollars with free shipping on all food supplies. Give yourself peace of mind and be prepared. Act now and call 800-409-5633 or visit eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Get free shipping on all orders for a limited time. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. You can bet your life on eFoods Direct. Is this the year you finally get serious about your family's drinking water? If so, keep listening for a special offer from Big Berkey Water Filters. Did you know that over 60% of municipal water is fluoridated? Berkey Water Filters distinguish themselves from many other filtration systems with the capability to significantly reduce dangerous chlorine, fluoride, arsenic, and disinfection byproducts from municipal water via the Black Berkey and PF line of filters. Then there's affordability. At only 1.7 cents per gallon, Berkey Water Filters purify treated and untreated water, even stagnant pond water. Stop and think how much money you could save by simply reducing buying bottled water and using water filtered by your Berkey water filter. No need to be constantly replacing expensive filters with a Berkey. A single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. Choose the best size Berkey for your needs at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And right now, all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Just call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Or visit BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. Free shipping on every order over $50. Big Berkey Water Filters. For the love of clean water. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. All right, 
right, Ted Nugent is coming up uh, in, 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 at the five after uh, in the uh, second hour to respond to just how they demonize gun owners and blame us collectively for any type of crime when we actually have lowered crime everywhere where we proliferated firearms. I mean, it's a no-brainer. But the, we're trying to argue with them with, with facts. They're criminals. The globalists know that a free people have guns. They know that's the basic instinct for us to be armed and that they want to be the ones with the guns. They fetishize guns. They they fetishize state power. I mean, Buzz Bissinger and, and uh, others on that show, a guy that admits he spends $600,000 you know, a year on women's clothing and stuff. I mean, just, just fine, whatever. Uh, just compulsive maniac. Uh, him and Piers Morgan get up there and talk about how they fantasize about him wearing a police uniform and killing me. And then the woman, the ambassador's daughter, uh, Huntsman, goes, ooh, yeah, ooh. And they're all like, ooh, let's kill. It's because you haven't ever been in a fist fight. Maybe Piers Morgan has. You've never seen people die. You bet you don't pull over when you see a car wreck. You know, when somebody's arms chopped off and blood spraying 14 feet. You people are cowards. You're the people, if somebody's dying in the ditch, you walk on by. I see it. Or if somebody's choking in a restaurant, you call 911. You people are cowards, okay? It's more than that they're just authoritarians. They play at being authoritarians. But behind them are the real authoritarians that have millions of dead on their hands. The globalists. The UN is going around worldwide just lining up people and just shooting whole villages. And it's in the New York Times like it's no big deal. From El Salvador to Honduras to the Central Africa in the Congo, it's they're, they're lining people up and shooting them. Oh, but you don't want those guns taken. Type in Chinese executions, thousands of photos at sports stadiums, blowing 12-year-olds' heads off. For some reason, it's like teenagers that misbehave. Oh, you shoplifted, boom, your head's blown off. Oh, you talk back to the cops, you're dead. We're going to harvest your organs. And they've got them bring, bringing the dead bodies with sheets and blood into mobile execution vans where they chop their organs up. Oh, you're never going to hear Jim Carrey talk about that because he's an authoritarian pig worshiper. He worships evil. The same with all of them. They know what they're doing. Yeah, let's not for TV viewers. Good job throwing it up, but let's not uh, let's not put it on the main TV broadcast in case people don't want to look at it. It's unbelievable. Just type in Chinese executions. Type in Chinese uh, suicide nets, and you search deep enough and take the safe search off, you can see. Shots of like 20, 30 bodies hanging, you know, dead that have bounced off the nets. And, and, and I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, mass suicides, hell on earth. Let's not discuss that. China launching drone armies. The globalists moving their command base there. They have execution parades in China. <sighs> I mean, it's just incredible. And, and again, these aren't of child molesters or murderers. These are people that... I saw one report where a Western journalist saw the police beat a guy up and chop his genitals off in front of everyone. And everybody watched him bleed to death there on the side of the street. I mean, you know, that's what the globalists want us to live like. That's their plan. Ted Nugent's coming up. Don't forget to support the broadcast, support our sponsors. We've got the Pro Pure Water Filters, 10% off. Best stainless steel filters. Blow the competition away. Infowarstore.com. Shop with the Patriots. Shop with the good guys. And support us to expand our operation in the globalist face. Get uh, subscriptions to InfoWars Magazine, Big Glossy Magazine. Uh, give gift subscriptions to wake people up as well. InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253-3139. And don't forget, eFoodsDirect.com only does this every March. eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex is where you find the special. Free shipping on all their deals. That is usually the biggest part of the storable foods cost. Free shipping. Only do it in March. 800-409-5633. 800-409-5633. Or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. If you're listening, you know your basic freedoms are being threatened every day. If you're listening, you know the economy is not getting better. You know gas and food prices are skyrocketing. Now is the time to get prepared. For years, we've told you about our friends at eFoods Direct. They have the best tasting, long-term storable food on the planet. This food will taste just as great 25 years from now as it does tonight. A long-term food supply allows you to freeze the cost and the availability of the one thing you need most. Be prepared and get your supply from eFoods Direct. 
Right now is the best time to stock up and save hundreds of dollars with free shipping on all food supplies. Give yourself peace of mind and be prepared. Act now and call 800-409-5633 or visit eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Get free shipping on all orders for a limited time. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. You can bet your life on eFoodsDirect. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Ted Nugent is scheduled to be on with us in the next segment to talk about the incredible demonization of gun owners and the new poster boy of distasteful, uh, tyrannical worship uh, of corruption and victim disarmament, the, 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 the worship of statism and hypocrisy, the, the uh, worship of pulling down real men. I'm talking about Jim Carrey, the obvious mentally ill twit, who put out a video, and I have the text of it here, where they say that Charlton Heston is responsible for the dead children in America, that he is a vulture and a coyote, and that he will not go to heaven, he will go to hell, and uh, that uh, he basically pulled the trigger on the children at Sandy Hook. That's basically what it implies. Uh, and they show him as a complete kook who believes that space aliens are going to exploit our every weakness and suck our brains out. I mean, it's just, it's just, and, and it's just, it's not even funny. And you watch a bunch of bad actors running around acting goofy, and it's not even a good piece. And it's just, it's just, and I don't want to hate Jim Carrey. I always knew there was something wrong with him. He's more of a geek. People think of a geek as a guy that's into computers. Geeks were people at circuses that would bite the heads off of pigeons and animals and things. And, you know, the, the obese man, the bearded lady, that's a geek. It's called geeking. And he's a geek. And I guess we're all a geek at some level. I mean, you know, I, 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 uh, I have trouble maintaining my composure because reality is such a deep, wide spectrum of thought. But uh, I'm just sick of hypocrites with armed guards and bodyguards and behind triple gates worth hundreds of millions of dollars, disdaining the common people who just who, who are having every basic liberty stripped away from them at an accelerated rate. They're having our liberties pulled away from us. And then what did Obama say when he, he didn't know he's being recorded to million dollar you know, type donors in San Francisco? He said, we're going to get these better clingers. All they've got is their Bibles and their guns. And you know, they're federalizing the churches, and they're going after the guns because they know they don't want you having your own beliefs, whether beliefs are right or wrong. They don't want you having beliefs that aren't theirs. They want you to be a biological android. They want to program you. They want you to turn your kids over to them so they can program them in the public schools. And I, for one, have had enough of it. I, for one, am, am just thinking of every way I can get aggressive every way I can show the power of liberty, every way I can get in the face of the new world order. And if that means they set me up, imprison me, kill me, whatever it is, that's the way it is, okay? Because that's not a something I look forward to, but it's an honor. I mean, I, I am committed. And, and, and if, we, if everybody was committed, we'd turn this around very quickly. But people think groveling and living in denial, they think that that is going to be somehow the road to victory. And it's not. It's the road to perdition. And so it's time to commit and to get past your fear and to become a leader and to stand up against these tyrants and say, we know you're authoritarians. We know you're criminals. We know you're hypocrites. We know you're our mortal enemy. There's always been horrible tyrants. There's always been corrupt gangs. There's always been groups that come in and try to take over. And now it's happening again. 
And the globalists are shutting America down as fast as they can to make you dependent on them. And they can just bring in the global garbage from countries they've already conquered. But we are aware of that historically and at a gut level. And we are together in history. And this is a challenge. This is a hell of a time to be alive. It's not work fighting tyranny. It's not work standing up for Chuck Heston. It is an honor. Just as generations after us, when we restore liberty, will stand up for us when we're being demonized. As you know, down the road, there'll still be tyrants. There'll still be scum. They'll be demonizing Ted Nugent, Alex Jones, Ron Paul after we're gone. If you want an American company with American products made by Americans, here is the Cal Ben Soap Company. Alex and his staff have used these pure soap products for years. These all-natural soaps are made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils that are earth-friendly and safe. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Buy the one- to two-month sample package and enjoy soaps that are twice as good as what you're using now. Or save big with a one- to two-year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. This is an amazing deal. You can save thousands of dollars and you will love the way real soap makes you feel. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Devastating events like earthquakes, tornadoes, floods, hurricanes, or the threat of martial law have highlighted the need for Americans to prepare for emergencies. As a result, millions are stockpiling food, gold, and weapons. But how will these items help if you or one of your loved ones becomes ill? Supernatural Silver is the ultimate tool to prepare you for a medical emergency. Supernatural Silver is a natural antibiotic that is uniquely effective against bacteria, viruses, molds, and fungus, and is removed remarkable for wound care. Taken internally or used topically, it can help keep you safe from deadly pathogens. Supernatural Silver has over 500 different uses and a long-term shelf life, making it the number one choice of preppers across the country. To find out how this amazing new technology can help you be prepared, go to SupernaturalSilver.com. Use the promo code PREPARED for 20% off your entire order and like us on Facebook. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even though I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months, simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. It's been out for a couple days but didn't get attention until... Last night it was in some of the establishment uh, prostitute media, the dinosaur media, praising Jim Carrey. A, uh, I've seen him in interviews. I mean, I think he genuinely is mentally ill. Uh, you know, he's kind of a geek. That's why it's funny to watch him. Uh, literally denigrate and, and, and in this disgusting five-minute song, uh, and we're going to go over some of the lyrics to it here today, and this, it's got some profanity, so we won't play all of it. Say that gun owners, but that Chuck Heston, Charlton Heston, a true humanitarian, a true civil rights of act activist, a patriot, that he is guilty for dead kids, that he won't be going to heaven, and that he's mentally ill and believes in space aliens. And it was just so ham fisted and so pathetic. I got angry and I figured it out last night. I couldn't even go to sleep, folks. And I can go to sleep in like one minute, I can just turn my brain off. 
I was so upset I couldn't go to bed till like two in the morning. I shot like three videos for the YouTube channel because I realized these people are so pathetic and such liars and such hypocrites with their bodyguards and so anti-individual and so wrong and so authoritarian that I'm angry that we have not routed them out. Now, I called um, a very busy individual, but uh, he's obviously very angry about what's happening as well. I talked to him this morning on his cell phone, Ted Nugent, who needs no introduction, NRA board member, uh, you know, top rock and roller, patriot, Hunter. I called him on his cell phone a couple hours ago, and I said, can you come on about Charlton Heston? I know you were very good friends with him and really got him to get more hardcore on the Second Amendment. He said, absolutely. It was Ted Nugent that helped supercharge Charlton Heston into the fight at, at, at many levels. So uh, here is his friend to defend Chuck, Charlton Heston, because he can't do it. He's dead. But again, Charlton Heston will live forever as long as liberty lives. And so understand that, ladies and gentlemen, this is a big deal when people literally desecrate the grave of a man who would do 50 plus interviews a, a week when he was almost 80 years old and, and who would travel the country for nothing no money to defend the Second Amendment. And I knew him. I had a chance to talk to him off air. He was the real deal and probably the classiest person I've ever had the pleasure to get to know a little bit. And I'll be honest, I don't envy many things. I envy Ted Nugent being such good friends with him. Ted, you've got the floor, my friend. You've got the floor. Thank you for coming on, tednugent.com. I know you're about to go on your uh, Black Power tour. and um, But we appreciate you giving us time today. Sir, you've got the floor. At you because uh, there's no question that the great American legend and icon, uh, a, a true warrior, a true hero, Charlton Heston, deserves nothing but respect from thinking, caring, conscientious, educated people. But again, as we talked before about uh, the gift from God that Pierce Morgan represents, I mean, God literally sent Pierce Morgan from England to try to debate the Second Amendment. So <laughs> you, you literally couldn't come up with Alfred E. Newman versus uh, an audition for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Come up <laughs> with a better representative of a guy who hates freedom and hates the Second Amendment and hates Ted Nugent and Alex Jones and hates the NRA and hates self-defense and hates guns. And I think um, we are not here so much to defend child Heston because, once again, God has sent a complete brain-dead soulless punk to desecrate the absolutely well-earned and deserved glowing reputation of the great Charles Heston. And what Jim Carrey has done, and I've been all over, we have a talk back at tednugent.com, and we have thousands of people from all around the world that come to celebrate self-evident truth and common sense. You know, the same communication that you get, Alex, from people who understand, you know, history, the evidence that brought us to the greatest experience and the greatest quality of life in America. And when a guy like Jim Carrey um, pulls off this kind of mean-spirited souls. I think the best word to describe Jim Carrey and, and Pierce Morgan and, and guys like, you know, Michael, I'm still looking for personal hygiene more. They're all one big gaggle of soulless punks. And, and I would understand, and I understand when a person is uneducated and ignorant and hates America and hates self-defense and doesn't believe in self-defense, but then again, if you examine Michael Moore and his armed security detail, if you examine uh, uh, Jim Carrey and his armed security detail, when you examine Michael Bloomberg and Governor Cuomo and Nancy, you don't have to read this, you need to sign it, Pelosi, and of course our favorite gun runner, Eric Holder, when you examine the freedom haters who hate guns and want to do everything on film, stating clearly they would take away all the guns if they could. These people are perfect to represent the other side because when they open their mouth, yes, we have an, un, uh, an unfortunate and a, and, a, and a tragic percentage of Americans who are more like sheep than we the people that support these uh, freedom haters. When they speak, common sense America, people who have jobs, people who put their heart and soul into being the best that they can be, people who appreciate the gift of life, the sacred gift of life, and our moral, intellectual, and spiritual obligation to defend that life, and that the Second Amendment was written down to remind us we have the individual God-given right to defend. 
extend that precious gift of life. Good people understand the pure rot from Jim Carrey. So in his grave, Alex, let's, let's really examine this. From the grave, the great Charlton Heston represents bait to the Jim Carreys of the world. And, and I think Charlton Heston, if we could communicate with him, he would be smiling right now. He wouldn't be hurt. He would be smiling because Charlton Heston knew the culture war was coming before any of us did, Alex. No, he was there sounding... He was there sounding the alarm, and, and he is just like our forebears fight from the grave for liberty with their statements and the Second Amendment they laid down. Charlton Heston is, uh, like an El Cid, strapped dead on the horse out there ter terrifying the enemy. Yep, and here's the beauty. Charlton Heston would be more than proud to cause much anguish and insanity in the, in the soulless vacuum of Jim Carrey's brain, or his, 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 his skull. Charlton Heston is like you and I, Alex, only he's better. And he is just giddy with joy that he has inspired Jim Carrey to become even dumber than dumb and to be just this toxic source of indecency and mean spirit and hate. Charlton Heston isn't even alive, and he he caused Jim Carrey to expose his soullessness. So don't underestimate in the culture war, more important than uh, the, the, the lie of bowling for Columbine by, by Michael No Hygiene Moore and Nancy No Soul Pelosi and Diane, I've got a gun, but you don't get to have one, Feinstein. I mean, the, the list goes on of just hypocritical, brain-dead, subhuman punks. Or, not to mention, Alex, the vice president of the United States recommending felonies live on TV. <laughs> you you, you got to be kidding me. Alex, again, if you and I were to sit down with all the greatest minds on earth, the most clever, educated, witty, brilliant minds on earth, we couldn't design an enemy that looks more ridiculous than Nancy Pelosi, Dianne Feinstein, Joe Biden, Barack Obama, Eric Holder, Jim Carrey, Michael Moore, odd nauseum. So yes, it is hurtful, and it does inspire righteous indignation, and we should be angry, but we should also take a deep breath and go, hey, Jim, do it again, because you're distancing yourself further every time you open your in imbecilic mouth, surrounded by your armed security details, demanding that the rest of us don't get to have any security. So, Alex, I know it hurts, and it's ugly, but you know what? I think in the in Nuremberg, 1938, we got there late, but when we finally got there, we made those subhuman Nazi brown shirt punks walk through Auschwitz and look what they caused. Look what they did. And this Jim Carrey moment is a mirror that we can show somebody, hopefully soon, that these people enhance crime. They encourage crime. They they facilitate and and guarantee more innocent dead citizens. Sure, because they're well. That's it. Create. They know uh, Ted Nugent joining us. They know crimes drop forty nine percent. Violent crime FBI statistics since nineteen ninety one. As the guns go up, the crime goes down. They know that. So it is a criminal instinct of hypocrisy to want to dominate us because they're collectivist but end up getting our banker bailout money. They are just lawless parasites. Michael Moore, all of them, they know exactly. Uh, Dianne Feinstein, she's got her own gun. She's got her own security detail. They have this, this, this cr I'll say it, criminal instinct to, dis to, to disarm us. Absolutely. Well, you, I mean, do we need any more evidence than the number one cop in the, in the free world running guns to Mexican drug gangs? Are you kidding me? Again, we couldn't write a Planet of the Apes meets One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Alfred E. Newman that's dumber than this scenario. 
and they get away with it. That's what, see, that's why I got so mad by the video, and we're going to break here, but I want to get your take on this, that they are so pathetic. That's why it made me so mad. It was nauseating how stupid they are and how ridiculous, but then we're, 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 they're, they're still taking over. There's these, there's these idiots everywhere that think, think that's funny. Well, number one, Alex, today our job, as always, get everybody within earshot. Join the NRA, increase your membership in the NRA, and here's the most important one. Give NRA memberships to everybody you know. There's certainly a birthday, a graduation, an anniversary, some type of celebration, or just somebody that you admire, or an anti-gunner that you debate. Get them a membership in the NRA. They will read the Armed Citizen in the magazine. So stay there and make Ted Nugent uh, President Pro Team. Stay there. We'll be right back. Introducing Pro One, all of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Hello, this is Ty Bollinger, author of the best-selling book, Cancer, Step Outside the Box. I want you to know some very important information. In 1985, President Ronald Reagan requested that Carnivora be sent directly to the White House at a time when only the president could obtain this world-class healer. Now, 27 years later, Carnivora capsules are used around the world to keep people healthy. Now you can protect yourself and your loved ones in this age of superbugs with 17 naturally occurring compounds that instinctively respond to abnormal cells only without harming a single normal cell. If you want to stay healthy, now's your chance to literally wake up your critical immune cells to attack harmful invaders that don't belong in your body. Call 1-866-VENUS-FLY or order from Carnivora.com. That's C-A-R-N-I-V-O-R-A.com. That's 1-866-836-8735, 1-866-VENUS-FLY or visit Carnivora.com. Protect your immune system. It's the only one you've got. Now there's an amazing new natural antibiotic every person must have. It's Cells Alive Silver Solution, and it destroys over 650 hard-to-kill viruses, fungus, bacteria, and much more. Cells Alive Silver Solution has no expiration date, is great for emergency kits and storage shelters, and comes in 8 or 16-ounce bottles. Order today at 888-910-4367 or visit hempusa.org. Hempusa.org, 100% chemical-free superfoods and unique health products. We the People grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Hi, Ted Anderson. I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800 686 2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800 686 2237. That's 800 686 2237. Devastating events like earthquakes, tornadoes, floods, hurricanes, or the threat of martial law have highlighted the need for Americans to prepare for emergencies. As a result, millions are stockpiling food, gold, and weapons. But how will these items help if you or one of your loved ones becomes ill? Supernatural Silver is the ultimate tool to prepare you for a medical emergency. Supernatural Silver is a natural antibiotic that is uniquely effective against bacteria, viruses, molds, and fungus, and is remarkable for wound care. Taken internally or used topically, it can help keep you safe from deadly pathogens. Supernatural Silver has over 500 different uses and a long-term shelf life, making it the number one choice of preppers across the country. To find out how this amazing new technology can help you be prepared, go to SupernaturalSilver.com. Use the promo code PREPARED for 20% off your entire order and like us on Facebook. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Central. We're here live 
also on XM 166 and over 150 AM and FM affiliates. I'm Alex Jones, your host. The websites are InfoWars.com and InfoWarsNews.com, where we have InfoWars Nightly News. TedNugent.com is an amazing website and has a lot of uh, just, just, just really cutting-edge information on it when it comes to, uh, to the fight for liberty. And if we can go back to that phone conversation this morning, uh, Ted, again, Ted Nugent uh, with us right now, to the points you were making because you were so focused. It was really focused anger. And you were talking about the fact this is a war because, I mean, these collectivists, they don't want to just go to the Second Amendment. They want to expunge everything. I mean, they are literally taking over. And uh, the problem is so many of the Republicans are part of this as well. I think everybody who loves liberty needs to get really aggressive. Uh, so uh, I think it's a change in our guts. And you talked about just knowing we're right, Ted Nugent. Well, again, you know, the term self-evident truth isn't shouted often enough from the mountaintops of our daily lives, Alex. So we, again, we salute you for doing that. And we salute everybody out there. And again, I constantly reference the curse of apathy, the self-inflicted suicide of disconnected sheep in America. But again, only the guilty need to feel guilty. Some guys go, well, I'm not a sheep, I'm involved. Well, then I'm not talking about you, pal. But we know sheep. We all have sheep in our lives. We know someone who shrugs their shoulder and goes, yeah, I believe in uh, the Second Amendment, but there's no reason we should own a machine gun. You know what I mean? We need to take these people and fix them and get rid of the self-inflicted curse of apathy because the term self-evident truth, what you rail about, the, the culture war in our face, the fact that a Chicago gangster, a manipulating acorn, communist hanging out with deceitful scam artist Barack Obama has weaseled his way into the White House, if that's not an indicator that too many Americans are sound asleep, then I really don't know what else I can tell you. But we know it to be true, but the answers are not mysterious. The remedy is not mysterious. This isn't rocket scientists. An experiment in self-government is in our guts. It's in our soul. It's the most powerful instinct to pursue your individual happiness, to know that God gave us each an individual right, as outlined succinctly and eloquently and for the first time in the history of mankind, in the U.S. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence. My God, we've got to communicate with this to our elected officials. And again, I'm going to repeat this till I blow up. NRA memberships, there aren't enough of them. The most powerful sucker punch into the solar plexus of the Nancy Pelosi and Feinsteins and Michael Moore and Jim Carrey's of the world is numbers, NRA memberships. Exactly, exactly. Just to back you up, uh, Bloomberg has now raised $14 million off the dead kids at Sandy Hook, the victim disarmament zone that he helped nationwide set up. So if anybody's guilty, it's him. He's trying to collectively make us guilty. He raised $14 million to run around and pay off police chiefs and local governments to come out against guns. And we have to take it personal when these people do this. We have to give money to the NRA and Gun Owners of America and your state gun groups. Folks, you've got to give time, energy. You've got to support alternative media platforms, libertarian, true conservative. What about this? What about how Homeland Security is now buying billions of bullets, armored vehicles, and saying the number one terror threat is gun owners, conservatives, libertarians. I mean, talk about twilight zone, outer limits. We now know that, that, that they are taking over Homeland Security as another branch of the military. It's become the fifth branch trying to point it at us. The curse of apathy and the, the, the political correct scourge of denial. You mean what you just mentioned, Alex? I, you know, I'm just a guitar player. I never went to college. I was too busy learning stuff. You know what I mean? Me too. I'm a pragmatist. I'm a utilitarian. I, I, I cut my own lawn. I change my own oil. I gut my own deer. I butcher my own carcasses. I, I breed my own wife, and I play my own music. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> just a, I'm just an independent. I'm, I, I'm a throwback to rugged individualism. And I, again, I've been clean and sober for 64 years, and if you look at my family, if you look at my incredible wife, if people want to have the time of their life, I don't know what you do, Google Shemaine Nugent Zumba, or, or, or my band, my crew, my kids, my brothers, my sister, my friends, my, my, my production, everything.
everybody around you. You are family. electrically alive, just breathing in life, and are successful and dynamic because you're tied in to your God-given instincts. And these collectivists are a bunch of sacks and piles of stinking dog crap. I'm sorry, that's what they are, and they want to make us like them. They're subhumans. I mean, I, literally, they're as evil as evil gets, so we can sit here and go, so, so you're not aware... Mr. Neighbor, Mr. Coworker, someone at church and school. So you're not aware that the, the homeland, the, the homeland security, the TSA, the D. Stay there, Ted the Nugent. DOJ. Ted Nugent, straight ahead. TedNugent.com. He's on fire. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com If you want an American company with American products made by Americans, here is the Cal Ben Soap Company. Alex and his staff have used these pure soap products for years. These all-natural soaps are made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils that are earth-friendly and safe. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Buy the one- to two-month sample package and enjoy soaps that are twice as good as what you're using now. Or save big with a one- to two-year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. This is an amazing deal. You can save thousands of dollars and you will love the way real soap makes you feel. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Leading a frontal assault on the lies of the New World Order, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Come on, baby. It is hard to fade down that music and the man that created it. Ted Nugent is with us, and the more I get to know Ted Nugent, obviously I've known him for years. He's been coming on the show for probably 15 years, but the more I really get to know him, I mean, he is such a patriot. And you notice as things get more hardcore, he gets more hardcore, and I wanted to talk to him about how to beat these people. We're going to get to the fun of guns after we cover the more serious topics in a moment. But before we do that, remember, this broadcast is listener-supported. We're building the news organization, the nightly news, the films, 
uh, the monthly magazine, everything we're doing isn't funded by banker bailouts and taxpayer money like MSNBC and CNN. It is funded by your support. And so I go out and find the best products that I can find, get the best deal, buy them in bulk, and sell them at the lowest price, like the stainless steel Pro Pure water filtration system that blows away the competition. Very important to have clean water, so it's a win-win-win. You can get that at InfoWarsStore.com. That's InfoWars, one word, store.com. You can also find all the pro Second Amendment. Uh, come and take it with a M16 or AK-47 with the right to keep and bear arms. Shall not be infringed inside the gun. Best-selling uh, shirt out there. People are getting them all over the country. Uh, camouflage, InfoWars.com. Uh, ball caps, uh, the films, the materials. It is a culture war. So wear your uniform, folks, and meet like-minded people. We have the Obama Joker Tyrant shirt, a uh, limited edition. Uh, we have the new 1776 Spirit of Liberty shirt that just came out with Paul Revere uh, riding on it uh, with M16s crossed on the front and the back. Just amazing at InfoWarsStore.com. And the more you f fuel us in midair refueling, the more you fund us, uh, the more we're going to get the word out. In fact, I'm about to put one million bumper stickers in the new, not this month, but the next month magazine. One million of them. Six bumper stickers per magazine going out. <laughs> one of them is a Second Amendment sticker. The others are InfoWars. It's time to get aggressive, 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 aggressive. And support TedNugent.com. The globalist, the New World Order types love to act like we're all alone, that we don't have any power, that, that we're weirdos. At the end of the Charlton Heston demonization video where they say he killed the kids, God hates him, he's going to hell. He's a psycho. He's scum. He blows his foot off. At the end of uh, the attempted defaming that falls flat on its face by the, the, the little scrofulous creature Jim Carrey and his masters, at the end of the whole video, you realize that these people are just pathetic and that all they've done is give us another tool to show what scum they are. But we are in a culture war. And at the end of the video, they all laugh at Charlton Heston and laugh at gun owners, and you're supposed to feel like you're alone at the end. Uh, you're, you're supposed to feel like, as, as there's blood all over uh, Charlton Heston, you're supposed to feel like you're a moron and because this scum laughed at you. That's all peer pressure manipulation. These people are the scum, and they really are the degenerate scum. And it's time to really get in their face and stop being nice about it. I mean, Ted, I think it's time to go all the way. It's time to triple and re-quadruple down. They tell us, be nice. That's the way to win arguments. This is our enemy telling us this. Uh, what do you say about really getting aggressive? Then get into DHS, uh, get into still touring, getting bigger every day, the, the wake up that's happening. I want to get into Uncle Ted's advice in this war. Ted Nugent, you've got the floor. Well, Alex, when you recommend getting more aggressive, surely you've seen the YouTube video of me holding up a bunch of drum-fed AR-15s on stage and telling Nancy Pelosi, then-Senator Barack Obama, Barbara Bach, oh, yes. Diane Feinstein, at all to suck on my machine guns. Should I get more aggressive than that? No, I think, no, no, I'm telling, <laughs> I'm not telling you that. I'm telling the, pu the public. I, I know what you mean, but, and, and we love you madly, but I do believe that I may be the only guy on the planet who's got a couple notches up the aggressive chart from Alex. Oh, no, 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 let me be clear. I agree with you. I, I'm telling the audience, I, I think know, it's time to get aggressive. What do you I, say I, I then? I just thought I'd make sure if, if people listening right now to us, Alex, has, haven't Googled my name lately, get yourself some popcorn and a couple of big gulps. <laughs> You're right. And Google Ted Nugent and watch me drive the liberals bizarre. That's what I do sometimes on Saturday nights. I literally do. Go watch your latest YouTube. I mean, it's just his and by the way, Alex, I have my wife will tell you. I never in my life have woke up in the morning, rubbed my hands together, got a wild eye look in my face and gone, What can I do to drive liberals batty? I've never given it a thought. Swear to God, my instincts exactly. are to stand up for truth, logic, the logic and pragmatism that brings independent quality of life, and I celebrate and promote those things. I started promoting, never defending. I have never defended the Second Amendment or backstraps. I've never defended anything. I promote and celebrate 
all good things, self-evident truth, logic, goodwill, decency, and the American way. And I found out as early as 1965, 1966, the beatniks were morphing into the hippies, and they hated me. And I, I sat back for a minute, and I go, you hate me because I believe in self-defense and I eat venison? Are you kidding me? But here's the bottom line. I would love to get... Pelosi and Boxer and Feinstein and Michael Moore and Jim Carrey and Bill Maher and Pierce Morgan, I'd like them to get on film and admit, how much dope have you smoking? How many mind alter? and I'm not alleging they have, allegedly they talk and conduct themselves like cesspools of mind-altering drugs, and I bet you... If you got everybody that hates Ted Nugent and Alex Jones and the NRA and freedom in America, if you got all of them to take some truth serum and look in the camera and admit how much mind-altering substance abuse they've, they've subjected themselves to for how long, no one would be surprised that they are Timothy Leary run amok. And that's what you can expect from those kind of people. When you have intentionally poisoned and destroyed your brain, you can come out with a video like Jim Carrey has. Well, let me throw this at you briefly and then get into all those other topics we talked about during the break. Again, Ted Nugent's our guest. If you just tuned in and he's on fire today after they've tried to desecrate and demonize Charlton Heston, I believe it will will blow up in their face. Buzz Bissinger was on uh, the Piers Morgan show a few days after I was on there, and he said, you know, we ought to get him in here and shoot him and then the ambassador's daughter, Huntsman's daughter, and Morgan agree and say, yeah, I'll put on a police uniform, and they fetishize that, real creepy, and, and we'll shoot Alex Jones. And then Buzz Bissinger has now come out and admitted he likes to buy $600,000 a year of women's clothing. And, 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 I mean, my whole issue is, what what is the point of this? I mean, you know, this guy is, a, if I said kill him, which I'm not, I mean, that's like going out in the yard and stepping on dog crap. If I said, kill him, I would be arrested. He said, kill me, and then it's a joke. These people fetishize killing us, and they're constantly talking about killing constitutionalists. There's, you know, there's so many examples of this with people like Alec Baldwin, you name it. I mean, well, that's why our instinct, you know, and again, if we go back to what made America great, we didn't meet the uh, British punks at Concord Bridge to make them tea and have, have a discussion. We blew their brains out. That's how you stop tyrants. That's how you stop King George. That's how you stop despots and, and emperors and punks that want to com control your life and, and oppress uh, freedom. You, you meet them at Concord Bridge and you blow their damn brains out. That's what we did in 1776 because we'd about had enough. And so when you made that statement on Pierce Morgan, I've seen the, the transcript. All I can say is, Duh. Hello, self-evident truth, common sense, and history is not up for discussion. It is what it is. But now in the culture war, it is important that we let them talk. We let them threaten our lives. We let them call the greatest, maybe one of the greatest heroes of the civil rights movement next to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and others that sacrificed so much, the freedom marchers and, and so many. Charlton Heston is the most revered and, and earned reputation icon and hero, Alex. So let Jim Carrey show his evil side. Let Jim Carrey lie. His entire video is a lie. And these punks like Bill Maher cannot separate their humor license, their creative humor license from the respect due to a great man like Charles Heston. So it's good that they take the bait, but we, the people, who still understand the foundation of the greatest quality of life in the history of the world is outlined in the Bill of Rights and the U.S. Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, the Ten Commandments, the Golden Rule, those of us that are in the asset column of America, we still are running short of our responsibilities to educate, inspire, and, and prod everyone in our lives. There's an enormous army that could have won this last election, Alex, if all of us that knew the truth and knew the evidence, if we shared it and we asked and we really pushed harder to get our friends to join the NRA, to, to communicate with their elected officials, and to speak up. There's still too many sheep in America, and the sheep dogs need to educate 
eradicate them so we can reduce the wolves. You're right. And in closing on the point of Charlton Heston, before we get into solutions, uh, so many people that support liberty are just quiet and, uh, you know, they're sitting back and, 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 and they're waiting if the system pushes too much. And as Andrew Jackson said, don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes. You know, I understand the point of let the enemy run amok. That's what's discrediting. Polls show that people are more pro-gun now than they were just six months ago. Uh, there's a new CBS poll out. They're very upset that their whole hoax has failed. Uh, but at the same time, they've still got control of the government and the bureaucracy because they crave the control. How do we really get on the offense as individuals? I say go to city councils. I say get in the face of police chiefs that are anti-gun. I mean, I mean, my own police chief in Austin says, uh, you know, turn in your semi-autos, ban high-capacity clips, uh, ban gun shows. You can't buy your son a gun. No private sales. You don't need a semi-auto to protect yourself. Well, then how about the Austin police, who I know most of them are good people? How about you turn in your semi-autos? What a load of bull. What do you say to that? Well, he's obviously the illegitimate stepchild of Ann Richards. Um, but that <laughs> still exists. I mean, Sheila Jackson Lee is alive and well in Texas. So we've got we've got anti freedom. We got hypocrites because I guarantee that chief of police has a semi auto to protect his family. Alex, are you kidding me? Well, again, it's communication. Uh, I've been doing this forever. I think I was one of the first guys to find myself face to face with the whites of their eyes in the culture war back in the 1960s because the tip of that spear has always been gun rights and hunting rights, private property, hunting, conservation. We, the people, own those resources, not the king. So uh, i got to tell you, I'm going to put out a salute right now to Ranger Tess and, and Go-Kart and Steve and, 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 and so many guys at my talk back. Blood trails, I have thousands. Thousands and thousands of people, not just from the United States, but Canada, Japan, Australia, Germany, England, Belgium, Sweden. I mean, people from all around the world who dream of, who crave and have the instinct to be independent and free. They come to TedNugent.com Talkback. And a salute to them, because for every Talkbacker that you and I communicate with, they need to communicate with another dozen. And those dozen need to communicate with another dozen. That's how we win this culture war. We have not turned up the heat. We have not got aggressive enough, but we always have to be on the civil, polite, goodwill and decency side and let the Jim Carries spew their venom. Let them expose themselves for the haters and the freedom haters and the America haters that they are. And if we remain civil with the stats and statistics and evidence at our, at our fingertips and at the tip of our tongue, Alex, we will win. That's why I salute you. That's what you're doing and everybody listening, they don't need to call Alex and say thank you. They need to call everybody else in their lives and get them going. You're right. Let's get into solutions. Talk about, uh, because you got cut off by the break, the DHS situation. It's admitting there's an armed buildup uh, that they're trying to create this new domestic security force pointed at the American people. But then I want to hear about the Delta Force and SEALs and people you know. You were telling me off air how incredibly awake they're getting. And then let's talk about Let's talk about solutions, the gun culture they're so afraid of that's spreading, uh, going and, 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 and literally getting somebody into guns, that one person uh, after another, that's how we're truly going to win. And you see it happening all across this country. Yeah, it's like your chief of police in Austin, isn't, it, isn't that a heartbreaker that a Texas law enforcement officer sides with Nancy Pelosi? I mean, are, are you kidding me? So what did he do? at the wall of the Alamo like Ozzy Osbourne? I, I, I'm just <laughs> heartbroken because I know a bunch of those Austin cops. But here's the final overview. I, you know, I'm a lucky guy. I get to hang and barbecue and hunt and train with the, the greatest commando hero warriors that ever lived. I mean, I am so humble. I'm surprised I can even grovel at their feet. Delta Force, Navy SEALs. Uh, the, the special ops, uh, the, the, the Army Rangers, SWAT commanders, and, and heroes of law enforcement and military all across this land. I held the hand of Sergeant Todd Baldy, who happened to be from Austin, Alex. I held his hand over in Iraq. He took an RPG center mass. I'll try not to cry on your radio show here. A young black man, 22 years old. RPG center mass, Alex. It was still in his guts. I stood there in his blood and I held his hand as he died. 
Wow. I don't need any more inspiration. He died because he swore an oath, Mr. Chief of Police, to enforce, abide by, and fight for, and die for the U.S. Constitution. Do you think I need some punk, some dependent little whiny, soulless, doped-up crybaby like Jim Carrey to give me direction on constitutional and Bill of Rights guaranteed God-given individual rights? Are you kidding me? So everybody close their eyes right now, unless you're driving, and think of Todd Balding as he bled to death and took this giant, ugly RPG rocket right in the guts. And he bled to death fighting for freedom and going after terrorists who attack Americans because of their voodoo, a la puke, Muslim insanity. And if that's not worth inspiring you to join the NRA, to communicate with your elected officials and do your duty as we the people, then I don't think there's any hope for you, and you probably ought to just move to Canada. Well, it really is disgusting that, that these people parade around. In fact, since you mentioned that, and I want to talk about uh, the tour and, and, and you know, the culture war, having fun, that is the way to defeat them. Obama says post-Assad Syria of Islamist extremism is nightmare scenario. Obama in Libya, in Syria, I'm not saying Gaddafi or, 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 or the guy in Syria are good guys, but they weren't offensively doing anything. They're putting real al-Qaeda out of Saudi Arabia over there and are now talking about our troops having to go in after Assad falls to fight them. I mean, what is going on with Obama openly funding real al-Qaeda? I don't know if you've seen the videos of them chopping Christians' heads off in Syria. I can't even believe this. It's like some outer limits or, or, or some other dimension that, that it's in the news. Obama warns Syria could become enclave from extremism. Why is our government offensively with NATO now saying NATO is over our military. Our military spoken out against this, by the way. I'm sure you know that. Sure. What, what is going on with that? What, what are your, do you hear anything from your military sources about, about this craziness, the 10,000 missiles from Benghazi? Where they, why did they kill the ambassador? I, they stood down. My inside sources that are in Army intelligence say Obama wanted him dead. It was the Benghazi security force that was al-Qaeda that came over and killed him. I mean, it's just what is going on with Obama? I mean, boy, where do you begin to answer that question? Here's a guy that was born to communists, raised by communists, educated by communists, preached to by America-hating communists. I mean, who hasn't studied where this acorn Chicago gangster scammer came from? But that's where I was talking about the Department of Homeland Security, which, by the way, Alex, you're on the phone with the czar of Homeland Security. My <laughs> homeland is secure. Know that. But the, 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 the domestic agencies, uh, from the IRS to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife to the Bureau of Land Management, U.S. Forest Service, and DEA, and ATF, and FBI, and, it, and remember, a lot of those people, I still think the majority of those agents are great patriots and great men and women. And I, I hang the future of America on the nail of truth that they have expressed to me that they will not enforce illegal anti-constitutional orders from above. That is the great hope. But that they're purchasing all this firepower and, and armored vehicles, who doesn't know this? Who doesn't identify this as an illegal act by the government who is so corrupt, so out of control? Thank God for Ted Cruz and, and Rand Paul and Ron Paul and Governor Perry and, and, and Greg Abbott and, and, and Steve Stockman and Bill Flores and, and so many patriots that are standing up and, and and, and, but that's, that's the new GOP that we the people have prodded with the we the people pulse. When you extract the we the people pulse from politics, you will get we the sheeple. I give you Barack Hussein Obama. I think they're gearing up. Uh, what do you think is going on with the bullets? Are they trying to just dry up the, the, the bullet supply? Well, they certainly have succeeded at that. I started my own Ted Nugent line of ammo here last year, and it's like everything else you find on the shelf nowadays, if you can find any. It's state-of-the-art stuff. But we literally can't get my pallets of ammo off the truck. People are buying them in the parking lot before they even get to the shelves, which, you know, on a consumer side, I'm, 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 I'm gleeful of. And the, the ammo industry, the firearms industry, is literally having a consumer orgy like never before, which is a very powerful statement from we the people.
people that we smell what you're doing, Obama, and we're gearing up too. And a little don't tread on me reminder seems to be appropriate right now. So there's no question what's going on. The deceit, the scam, the criminality, the Benghazi, the fast and furious, sending F-16s to, to, to Egypt. I mean, you got to be kidding me. This, this would make a stupid Burns movie that Alfred Hitchcock wouldn't produce because it's too stupid, but it's actually happening. But that's what frustrates me. That's why I got so sick. I'm going to be honest. I, I came in last night from work, you know, being an evil American. I got home about nine. And she said, what is wrong with you? And I just, my kids all came up and they were around me and uh, you know, 10 down to age five. And they're, what's wrong, dad? And I just said, I don't want to talk about it. And then I couldn't, I got so, it was, it was past anger. It was the shame that we allow this scum to walk all over us and that, and that, and that this country has allowed pathetic filth and authoritarians to even call themselves liberal. Thomas Jefferson was a liberal. They're not liberals. And it just made me reaffirm that I am going to redouble 110%, and I'm coming after these people. Now, what do you think about ways to go after, legally and lawfully, to go after uh, Kerry and, and, and all these globalists? How do we really get aggressive? Boycott? What do we do? Well, you know, I... I yeah. I have such a, if you can bear with me, I literally have the answer, the perfect answer. Ted Cruz didn't sprout out of the ground and just show up. I communicated with him. Texans who cared communicated with him. With him. We enthused him. We supported him. Now he represents us. And did you see the beauty, the perfection of we the people when Ted Cruz... That's right. We backed him. We backed him. So we take over. And that's what even the Republican establishment is scared of real constitutional libertarian uh, campaign for liberty people. Absolutely. But that's why Ted Cruz so riled up Feinstein because he represented the common sense pulse of logic, freedom-loving Americans. And every state needs to do that. And there's a lot of states that do do that. Arizona, uh, South Dakota, uh, certainly Texas is the master of it. Uh, Wisconsin has done great things with what they've done with Scott Walker up there. And in, in his own way, even though Christie's only a solid two on the scale of ten, he sure beats the negative eight of the past governors of that state in New Jersey. But we the people, where we don't demand representation based on the Constitution and our common sense, where we don't demand it, we will get the Pelosi's and the Feinstein's and the Bloomberg's and the Cuomo's and the subhuman freedom haters that are infesting this corrupt government right now. So the answer is activism, activism, activism. Always polite, exactly. always firm, but never, ever give up. Well, here's an example. DrudgeReport.com in the last year has been taking our stories and putting them out about the billion bullets, the 1.6, the 2 billion, the armored vehicles. And they just said it didn't exist, Politico and other uh, White House fronts. Now there's a 15-member congressional investigation starting. Uh, Congressman, it's my duty to get to the bottom of massive DHS ammo buy. It's now on Fox, CNN, everywhere. They're being caught lying. And there's an example of just taking action and the people talking to their Congress folks. We're now forcing this issue out. And we can do that everywhere when we just move against them. Tell us about the tour uh, in the last minute and a half and uh, how we win by having fun. Well, you know, having fun is all things shoot them up. I mean, every day in America, American families uh, celebrate the shooting sports and the Second Amendment uh, by spending millions of dollars and shooting millions of rounds of ammo. I mean, that's actually accurate, Alex. American families go out every week and shoot millions of rounds of ammo in training, competition, practice. And that builds defense. the liberty infrastructure. Listen, you've already done 55 minutes with us. This is a one-minute break. Can you come back and finish that thought for two minutes, Ted? My you got pleasure. All My right, pleasure. Ted Nugent, a little bit of overdrive here, and then we'll continue into the third hour with news. Uh, your phone calls and a ton I haven't gotten to, but he is on fire. TedNugent.com. I'm Alex Jones with InfoWars.com. We're streaming video at InfoWarsNews.com of the show right now. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNLive.com today. You prepare by purchasing gold, food, and firearms. But if you don't have a home security system, then you're missing a critical weapon in your arsenal for home protection. When you're sleeping or away from home, who's watching out for intruders? 
Check out Simply Safe. It's a new do-it-yourself home security system that is completely wireless. Go to getsimplysafe.com. Simply Safe is independent and off the grid. It runs on battery power, so even if the grid goes down, you are protected. It's completely customizable, so you can use it in your home, business, boat, trailer, storage unit, or shed. GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is also ridiculously easy to install yourself in under 20 minutes, so there's no need to let a stranger into your home. If you move or need to relocate, you can take the system with you wherever you go. You aren't always at home, but Simply Safe will stand guard, protecting your property 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, that's GetSimplySafe.com. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. It was 20 years ago, sitting there in local community college, every class, whether it was you know, tr- trigonometry or psychology, hearing how America was bad, guns were bad, George Washington was a piece of garbage, private property was evil, that I said, I got to get the media. I wasn't even intending that. Went into an access show, then six months into it, got a local radio show, then got a weeknight show, then got syndicated, and I've grown slowly, but now we do reach 15 million people a week one way or another, and it's growing. It's quite frankly scary sometimes. It's an incredible responsibility, but the deeper you get into this fight, it is not work, folks. My problem is I am completely obsessed with it because I'm being assaulted. I'm angry, and I have an instinct to, uh, it's like a fight. If some guy starts a fight and starts kicking your butt, when you start kicking their butt back, you know, you want to go ahead and put them all the way down so they don't get back up. I want to really get on the offense and really go after them. And if everybody would join state and, and, and national gun groups like the NRA and others, if everybody would go to their state houses and get aggressive, we would route these people. We're, in fact, Ted Nugent in closing, you're talking about winning and also having fun. Uh, don't you think that, that that they've jumped the shark here and that if we double down, we can actually have an offense that could really, once and for all, defeat the collectivist? Yeah, it almost took, in fact, not almost, it has taken this extreme attack on our individual freedoms by Barack Obama and all his gangster punk friends out there to wake a lot of Americans up buying more firearms, more ammo than ever in recorded history of planet Earth. That's a great sign. But don't underestimate the importance. I use the term cleanse my soul, Alex. I get up in the tree with my bow and arrow. I train with these heroes of the military that have sacrificed their arms and their legs. We shoot machine guns from helicopters and kill hogs. and We barbecue and we fish. So never underestimate the importance of getting away from the battle. As long as you've done the battle to the best of your ability and signed up new members of the NRA, Gun Owners of America, you've communicated with your elected officials, and you've kind of educated slash chastised your friends who are not engaged. But then get out with your family and invite some new shooters. Take that 22 with your and eyes and hearing protection and eye protection and introduce some new shooters. I have a Ted Nugent Camp for Kids charity for 25 years, and we have graduated over 15,000 young Americans into the shooting sports for safe, proper Beautiful. gun handling. That drives the enemy berserk. That's how you cleanse your soul while you're winning the war, having the time of your life. No, you're right. We all need to fight hard and then play hard. Uh, the, the Black Power Tour, uh, uh, in closing, tell us tell us about that. That really upset the system uh, that, that your inspiration was black rock and rollers. It also upsets them that Charlton Heston was such a humanitarian in the civil rights movement. Well, my, uh, all the good music in the world comes from black artists, from the Howlin' Wolf and Muddy Waters into Bo Diddley and Chuck Berry and Little Richard and James Brown and Wilson Pickett, Sam and Dave and the Motown Punk Brothers. So my incredible band, the greatest rock and roll rhythm and blues band in the world, Greg Smith and Mick Brown and Derek St. Holmes, we're hitting the road this year, starting next month with REO and Sticks. Then we're going out all summer before the hunting season starts. But we're going to play a tribute, as we always have for 50 years, to those black American heroes that have inspired every piece of killer music in the history of mankind. And it's called Black Power because the black artists showed us the way musically and emotionally and that spirit and that uppity ferocity. So we should take that and use it. You can use Stranglehold as the 
ultimate soundtrack for, for freedom and defiance. And I want to thank everybody for making our Spirit of the Wild show the number one show on Outdoor Channel and our Wanted Dead or Alive show the number one show on Sportsman Channel. But I'm keeping at it. I'm turning up the heat. And we need to get more aggressive and need to win this culture war ASAP. Well, look at how you're, you know, all these hit shows on Discovery, they're trying to cancel them, even though they're hits, because they know we're winning the culture war. I see this whole attack as desperate flailing. It is desperate flailing, but that's going to backfire on Jim Carrey's going to backfire. Michael Moore's backfiring. I believe, Nancy, you don't need to read this. You need to sign it. Pelosi is a backfire in itself. So we need to take advantage of the uh, indecency, the wow. hate from the other side. We need to express it. Always express it calmly. If you're going to call your senator, have a piece of paper with the, the main two points you want to Absolutely. Make. Ted Nugent.com. Ted, thank you for giving such an eloquent defense of... Uh, Charlton Heston, not that he needed it, you're right, but God bless you, and we'll talk to you again very soon. Folks, Ted Nugent. Godspeed, Alex. You too. Goodbye. We'll be right back. Stay with us. That was Ted Nugent. If you're listening, you know your basic freedoms are being threatened every day. If you're listening, you know the economy is not getting better. You know gas and food prices are skyrocketing. Now is the time to get prepared. For years, we've told you about our friends at eFoods Direct. They have the best tasting, long-term storable food on the planet. This food will taste just as great 25 years from now as it does tonight. A long-term food supply allows you to freeze the cost and the availability of the one thing you need most. Be prepared and get your supply from eFoods Direct. Right now is the best time to stock up and save hundreds of dollars with free shipping on all food supplies. Give yourself peace of mind and be prepared. Act now and call 800-409-5633 or visit eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Get free shipping on all orders for a limited time. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. You can bet your life on eFoods Direct. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com Introducing Pro One, all of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines of the Info War. Ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Nemo has an article out at Infowars.com. Senators Paul and Cruz pledge to defeat anti- Second Amendment bill in the Senate. There's another report out by uh, Slate. I know Salon. I was actually surprised by it. It was halfway fair. Billy Corrigan's strange infatuation with a conspiracy theorist. The Smashing Pumpkins frontman reveals his admiration for Alex Jones. 
The reason I mention that is it's a very good video and is reaching a lot of people that you would call liberal uh, with the message of liberty. Because what we're trying to do is get past all the labels. And obviously with somebody like um, Ted Nugent on, you're going to get the labels against the Democrats because he's chosen the Republican team because he believes it's better you know, to work from within inside that and take it over. And that's fine. I say take over the Democrats, the Republicans, everybody. A true liberal stance is pro-gun, pro-private property, pro-family, pro-live your own life. And uh, even though that's kind of a demonization headline, a little snot-nosed headline, the actual article is very, very fair. And I've never seen that uh, out of Salon uh, in the demonization pieces. Uh, so, again, that's another positive sign right there. Here's another one. You know, you, you see Karl Rove coming out and demonizing Campaign for Liberty, demonizing Rand Paul, demonizing Ted Cruz, saying, oh, you know, I, I, they're not going to get anybody elected. They're going to ruin the Republican Party. And that's because they're scared to death of it. They've tried to have the Bilderbergs and Peter Thiel and others go in and take over the Ron Paul uh, system. And that certainly was successful with Jesse Benton at some levels. Because it's Washington, D.C. It's a barrel of sharks. But if you look at Rand Paul and others, they are the prototype of county commissioners, city council people, sheriffs, state reps, governors, and other Congress people like Walter Jones, who is a, who, who is a patriot and supporting the entire Bill of Rights, and is against all these wars. You see, with Rand Paul, with Walter Jones, who is a convert to this in the last decade and apologizes for Iraq and says he was lied to and repents. I mean, he's really repentant. We're infiltrating them. They're not infiltrating us. And that's why they're coming after Rand Paul. That's why they're coming after Ted Cruz. And again, I don't know Ted Cruz that well. We've interviewed him before. I don't completely trust him until I've known him a long time. But the fruits on the tree, shutting down Dianne Feinstein, not doing sophomoric half arguments, but really bombshell, you know, crushing her, we can take over. There is this self-fulfilling prophecy that we can't win and that nobody can be good. I mean, I see this all the time where people can't believe that I'm actually real. I didn't go do an access show for many years and get my own radio show and build it and start my website and, you know, even update it sometimes myself when I had almost no, you know, internet savvy uh, on systems like Coffee Cup and then Dreamweaver. Uh, I didn't make films untrained uh, with three quarter inch tape and VHS. I didn't sit there and cut my own audio tracks with a razor blade. I didn't sneak into Bohemian Grove. I didn't sneak into military operations. Uh, I didn't go out and confront people. I didn't go out and build a media system. I didn't do any of that. No, there's an army of CIA people out there in my control room. They're running it all. That's right. You see, because these are people out there who know the government's corrupt now. They've gotten savvy enough to know there's serious problems in our society. But they've been brought up by the television in their diapers, you know, 10 hours a day when they were little kids, babies, and brought up by the culture, and they don't know how to do anything. They don't even know how to work at McDonald's. They know how to go get, you know, their parents go pay their tuition to go to university to get a degree that won't exist by the time they get out. We're going towards singularity, the whole deal. I mean, it's it's obvious. I mean, this is this whole age is dying. This whole system is going down. This whole system is falling apart by design into the new technocracy. It would already be major upheaval, but the globalists are steering it to be as consolidated to consolidate and destroy society. And it is just madness. The globalists aren't going to get out of this in my deep research if they continue down this path. It is madness. It is nightmare. It is joining with Sauron. It is joining with El Diablo. And people are such spectators, they cannot imagine. And that's why they don't want fighting. That's why 
even wrestling or then running or dodgeball or then uh, shaking hands is being made, quote, illegal. They criminally charge you, even though there's not really a law. They trick you to then plea bargain to a lesser charge and sign an agreement so it never goes to trial. And then you get into the system. That's why in the last 15 years, all over the world, they're phasing it out. Because when you're growing up as a kid and get beat up by bullies, it creates confidence when you finally learn to fight back. When you paint things and go sell them and become successful, it creates confidence. When you go and uh, work as a painter uh, of houses and then go start your own business five years later and suddenly buy a new car and have a nice house, it builds confidence. Soon you, you hire 10 more painters and you put up billboards and, and now you've got the biggest painting company in the town. You know, when you go out and mow yards, when, when, when you do go and become an engineer or a chemist and then go and develop things or when you invent something and it becomes you know, successful, then you invent hundreds of things. They don't want you ever to have success, and it just blows me away. I mean, uh, the best thing that ever happened to me, thank God I survived, because it was a few times uh, I couldn't believe how rough Dallas was. I couldn't believe the, the total culture of, of maleness compared to Austin. Now, in, in a way, it's kind of like you know, if you've been in a big fight, you want to go lay down. That's what Austin's like, where there's hardly any fighting or, you know, it's just totally different culture. But, but but in a way, I realize that's because it is controlled. But, but it's a side issue. The best thing ever happened to me was people pulling knives on me, uh, getting stabbed, uh, getting in. I think about how many fights I've been in. Uh, all of it, even though it was it was rough at the time, it, it gave me confidence and experience and made me where I was confident in other things and probably too confident sometimes. And I just, and I'm not, not here saying I'm Mr. Tough Guy. Because let me tell you, as tough as you think there are, you know, in any, you know, movie theater, there's probably 10 guys can kick your butt. There's a lot of tough guys out there. But then I sit there and I see the morally weak and, 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 and pathetic and emasculated who get into it, who have never done anything on their own and will go work for a corporation pushing paper around, waiting for the age of humans to end. The globalists have decided the age of humans is over. They believe their evolution is to merge with the machines and become gods. Now, whether that's going to really happen or not, the media always says, I'm the one that believes that. No, the establishment believes it, and I show in films and books and articles where they say it constantly. They're, they're out of control, and I don't want them controlling my destiny. I don't want them running my life and my children's life because I don't want my great-great-grandchildren to not exist. I want passion and love and the challenge of life and the great adventure to continue. I fear humanity's death. I fear the stream to my ancestors from the past to the present to the future with my progeny and your progeny that will inherit the earth together being destroyed, being damaged, being twisted, being abused. I don't like thinking about innocent people being abused or pulled down. I don't like what's happening. And I want to defeat the tyranny. And you have to first believe you can defeat it. And the churches have all taught it's the end of the world, and there's no reason to get involved. Just, just leave the world alone. And that's why evil's taking over. Whether it is the end of the world or not coming, you have a job. You're just going to let people be caught up by the world system? You're just going to let people be overrun by this? Most of you don't fight this tyranny because you're cowards. And, and, and it is so pathetic. It is so absolutely, completely pathetic at so many levels. You're allowing the evil to take over. That's the danger. You should be afraid of acting like a sheep bringing in the wolves. You're wolf bait. But instead, you think it will protect you groveling under the dark wings of the New World Order. It will not do that. And you have a responsibility to speak out against this, but you know, you're afraid of what your neighbors think, much less the government coming after you. You I mean, I can't believe that how people care what others think or someone laughing at someone who you don't know. I mean, if I know somebody and they're trying to do something to me, I take it personal and then don't like it. But if I don't know somebody, you're laughing at me. I mean, if I slip and fall at a grocery store or something, everybody's pointing and laughing, I'm not embarrassed. I get up and make a joke. And I just don't understand the unconfident patheticness that Pete the spirit of patheticness that has absolutely taken everything over. 
and it's time to rediscover your humanity. We're going to take phone calls for the balance of the hour. We're going to do a bunch of world news, financial news, Middle East news, politics, health, science, you name it. 800-259-9231. Uh, First-time callers, 800-259-9231. You can call in about anything you want, okay? Uh, anything you want. But what do you think about just, just absolutely how they hate Charlton Heston because they knew he had a big heart and was a real guy? These people hate real people. They hate love. They hate real hearts. They... They, they revel in being twisted and weak in like clouds of gangs of, of, of weirdos. And they, they try to be weird. They're not even really weird. They're not really weird. They're fake weird. They're a bunch of unformed people that, 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 that are just so childlike and so weak. It freaks me out. Globalists see you acting weak and love it. It like encourages them. It freaks me out. Jim Carrey is so pathetic and evil. It makes me want to throw up. I, he, it hurts me. He's so weak, prancing around and so pathetic. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. And Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv uh, are the websites. We'll be right back after this quick break with your phone calls. 800-259-9231. Stay with us. You prepare by purchasing gold, food, and firearms. But if you don't have a home security system, then you're missing a critical weapon in your arsenal for home protection. When you're sleeping or away from home, who's watching out for intruders? Check out Simply Safe. It's a new do-it-yourself home security system that is completely wireless. Go to GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is independent and off the grid. It runs on battery power, so even if the grid goes down, you're protected. It's completely customizable, so you can use it in your home, business, boat, trailer, storage unit, or shed. Get SimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is also ridiculously easy to install yourself in under 20 minutes, so there's no need to let a stranger into your home. If you move or need to relocate, you can take the system with you wherever you go. You aren't always at home, but Simply Safe will stand guard, protecting your property 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, that's GetSimplySafe.com. Digestive health is the key to wellness and elimination of toxins. That bears repeating. Digestive health is the key to wellness and elimination of toxins. And Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse is the key to digestive health. Pro-EM1 is a powerful liquid probiotic, strong enough to cleanse, gentle enough to use every day. Pro-EM1 is dairy, wheat, and soy free, contains all natural and certified organic ingredients, contains no preservatives or animal products, supports a healthy digestive and immune system, supports weight loss, improves absorption of food nutrients, aids in controlling yeast infections, is never freeze-dried, and uses uses three groups of live, viable, beneficial microbes to cleanse and remove toxins. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganics.com. Spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Terraganics.com. Or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Pro-EM1, the raw probiotic. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Hey there, my name is Frank Bates. Do you know the number one most valuable item in a crisis? Some people think the answer is gold. Others think it's a gun. But the correct answer will shock you. I just created a free video at crisis123.com that reveals a surprising item that is more valuable than gold in a crisis. 97% of Americans don't have this one critical item. In fact, they haven't even given it a thought. 
And the sad truth is that you may not survive without it when a real crisis hits and a starving mob is right outside your door. What I have to tell you could literally make the difference between life and death for you and your family. Watch my video at crisis123.com to discover the number one most valuable item in a crisis. You'll be shocked. See the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go watch my video now at crisis123.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's crisis123.com. They point their cannon at you. The predator class wants us disarmed. We must deliver liberty into the people's hands at the grassroots. Everyone that wants to destroy our private property, our Second Amendment, our families, are our eternal mind crime enemies. They are people that want to control our minds, and they are enemies. Chris in Connecticut, you're on the air. Go ahead. Welcome. Alex Jones and crew. Hey, I just wanted to address a specific remark that Mr. Nugent had made. And that remark was about that unfortunate poor Marine who died with a rocket in his chest and how he died over there in Iraq defending the Constitution and our freedoms. And, you know, that did make me want to vomit, and I'm sure... To most people listening in yourself, you realize that that's just simply not true, that the Constitution calls... Sure, his whole, point is, his whole point is is that they swear an oath to it and that that guy died. And so when you're over there, you end up hating the people that you're fighting against. And so I brought up, why is our government funding the radical Muslims to bring everybody down? It's a sophisticated thing to understand, but they're starting to get it. You see, that's what I'm doing by exposing that the, that the globalists run al-Qaeda is that will bring down the whole fake war on terror. Uh, and so that's why, yeah. Go ahead, sir, your, your phone's a little breaking up. Go ahead. Oh, man, well, yeah, thank you for trying to bring that to his attention right away because there are people who, as I said, probably collectively had their, their gag reflex act up. So I just want to uh, say... Uh, yeah, no, I hear you. Are you on a speakerphone? Are you on a speakerphone? Yeah, I'm working. I got my tools in hand, you know, so I'll let you go, but thank you for... Uh, all right, all right, yeah, l l listen... We, uh, callers, and this is what we do when we take calls. We don't screen your calls, but we want to make sure your phone sounds good. We want people off their speaker phones because I can barely understand you, and I really want people to hear you. That's why I gave the number out. Uh, so uh, everybody get off their speaker phones. Uh, let's talk to Ted in Florida. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Good, sir. Welcome. Hey, Alex. A couple things. Uh, the Patrick Henry speech is... Um just so apropos to what's going on today. They're, they're, they're gathering armies against us. They want to confiscate our guns. The war has this already is, begun. Why stand we here idle? Absolutely. There's, there's no time for ceremony. Um, you, you know, there's, a, there's so much going on. These guys are criminals. They're afraid because we're exposing them. They're trying to do everything they can to save their hide. Uh, I, I believe a false flag is imminent to distract everybody from, from how much we're exposing them. Um, and, and Billy, uh, Billy Corgan had a great idea. I'm bringing other, uh, other disciplines in here. You know, Satan is a, is the, the, the narcissist and our society and particularly Jim Carrey and all these others like him, they're narcissists. And there's a wonderful woman, Melanie Tonia Evans, that has a wonderful, uh, piece of work on narcissism. And, and then a couple other things on solutions is, uh, I, I think we should, because everybody's tight on money. We should we should make a ten million man march and everybody gather and go to their state houses so they don't always have to spend a lot of money and, and, and go to Washington but their state houses and uh, and then one last thing um, these uh, these huge armored vehicles they, they have a, a serious weakness that their windows if uh, everybody has paintball guns and wrist rockets to shoot paint uh, uh, that, that that makes them like a turtle you tipped over. Where'd you do that research?
Uh, I just looked at them and looked for their weaknesses, and, and uh, you know, they don't have a lot of weaknesses uh, uh, with small arms fire, but their windows, you know, uh, if, if they can't see, they can't drive. And paintball guns are inexpensive. Balloons and wrist rockets and paint, oil-based paint is inexpensive. Sure, well, and even if there's cameras on them, you can take those out. Uh, we need to take them out politically and expose this uh, arms buildup against us. And then it's checkmate. You understand the propaganda value? People think propaganda is a bad word. It's, there's white propaganda, gray propaganda, and black propaganda. Black is a lie, and white is obviously the truth. We have all the white propaganda we could ever use. Th this arms buildup is the biggest piece of white propaganda we could ever have. I suggest we use it. And we have been using it. I mean, this is a war, ladies and gentlemen. And it takes strategy. Uh, and, it, and it also just takes brute force and mass. And I'm going to launch a million bumper sticker operation. I'm figuring out if I have the money. It looks like it'll cost something like $100,000. And then put them in the magazines. People can buy them at cost in bulk. I'm going to have to charge a... I, I say it cost. I have to charge a little bit more because the cost. A million bumper stickers up around the country. <laughs> I mean, that's just an example of devastating the enemy. Uh, to create that solidarity, that awareness. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Devastating events like earthquakes, tornadoes, floods, hurricanes, or the threat of martial law have highlighted the need for Americans to prepare for emergencies. As a result, millions are stockpiling food, gold, and weapons. But how will these items help if you or one of your loved ones becomes ill? Supernatural Silver is the ultimate tool to prepare you for a medical emergency. Supernatural Silver is a natural antibiotic that is uniquely effective against bacteria, viruses, molds, and fungus, and is removed remarkable for wound care. Taken internally or used topically, it can help keep you safe from deadly pathogens. Supernatural Silver has over 500 different uses and a long-term shelf life, making it the number one choice of preppers across the country. To find out how this amazing new technology can help you be prepared, go to SupernaturalSilver.com. Use the promo code PREPARED for 20% off your entire order and like us on Facebook. If you want an American company with American products made by Americans, here is the Cal Ben Soap Company. Alex and his staff have used these pure soap products for years. These all-natural soaps are made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils that are earth-friendly and safe. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Buy the one to two month sample package and enjoy soaps that are twice as good as what you're using now. Or save big with a one to two year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. This is an amazing deal. You can save thousands of dollars and you will love the way real soap makes you feel. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. You prepare by purchasing gold, food, and firearms. But if you don't have a home security system, then you're missing a critical weapon in your arsenal for home protection. When you're sleeping or away from home, who's watching out for intruders? Check out Simply Safe. It's a new do-it-yourself home security system that is completely wireless. Go to GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is independent and off the grid. It runs on battery power, so even if the grid goes down, you're protected. It's completely customizable, so you can use it in your home, business, boat, trailer, storage unit, or shed. Get simplysafe.com. Simply Safe is also ridiculously easy to install yourself in under 20 minutes, so there's no need to let a stranger into your home. If you move or need to relocate, you can take the system with you wherever you go. You aren't always at home, but Simply Safe will stand guard, protecting your property 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, that's GetSimplySafe.com. I was trained in firearms. I carried a concealed weapon. I made the determination that if somebody was going to try to take me out, I was going to take them with me. If I could have gotten 51 votes in the Senate of the United States, 
for an outright ban, picking up every one of them. M Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in. I would have done it. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic, it's Alex Jones. All right, let's continue with your phone calls after that bombshell interview with Ted Nugent in defense of the Second Amendment. Because if they get the guns, everything else implodes. They want to take your bank accounts. I've told you that for over a decade. They've done the same thing in country after country after country after country after country. And only realizing that both political parties and all three major political parties in England and, and the same thing in parliaments of Europe... They get in there and they control all the parties and uh, have almost no difference between them, as Carol Quigley wrote in the book Tragedy and Hope. So we can either create new parties or we can take over the states or we can take over the Republican and Democratic parties. And like Billy Corrigan talked about, there has got to be some way to bridge the gap and get people that are part of the power structure to realize who aren't totally evil that we're going downhill fast and you can't just keep looting in all directions. That's why I have tried so desperately to, you know, have different people from different perspectives on. In fact, I've even meant to get to it. But now I said I'm taking calls. We've got the Jim Hightower interview from the Nightly News. It was like 40 minutes long. It's 18 minute uh, excerpts where, you know, I, he, he, they contacted us, wanted to come on. I tried to get him in here to convince him about the Second Amendment, but he wasn't like making fun of Charlton Heston and people. And, you know, wasn't just being completely nasty. And I understand that I get nasty sometimes, too, you know, calling Michael Moore disgusting and evil. Because watching him use the dead kids and saying, let's show their dead photos and let's destroy the Second Amendment and all this stuff. I mean, it really makes me angry because they know what they're doing. And there's a very good chance that Stan Sandy Hook has some staging, provocateuring. There's no doubt on uh, Aurora. There's just no doubt that is a mind control operation out in the open. That is a mind control operation out in the open, and it is just off the charts disgusting. In fact, uh, you guys do have the Jim Hightower interview, don't you? Really? I mean, I had a meeting with, with Rob this morning about it. Uh, all right, well, it's not a big deal. Well, it's a good thing I was just going to take calls then. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, who knows, maybe we'll air it in overdrive or something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Wild Man in Texas. Wild Man, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Uh, kudos to you and your crew. You've got a lot of talented people there. Uh, you're truly at the tip of the spear. I uh, just wanted to comment on the Jim Carrey uh, video. Uh, I, I normally like Jim Carrey. Uh, I thought he was a pretty funny guy. Uh, the deal is that when I looked at that, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Um, I tried to put myself in his mindset and understand where he was coming from as an American. I, I don't think he truly understands uh, how dangerous government is and, and all of that. I think the, the comedy fell flat. Yeah, it certainly fell flat with me. Um, it actually made me, I'll never see a Jim Carrey movie again in my life. I will. There, he's actually the Jane Fonda <laughs> of of this uh, this campaign here, you might say. Well, I mean, we uh, know the establishment right wing is authoritarian and power grabbing. It's that the left runs around saying they're these wonderful people, and they're a bunch of nasty, crazy people. And and I'm just sick of them. I'm absolutely tired of it. Yeah, I well, I'd like to, to go off in another direction. I think one of you, you know you have a great platform there. You have a lot of talented people. Um, I'd like you to reflect on what worked in, uh, you know, during the Vietnam War. Uh, there was a there was a program called Laugh-In with Goldie Hawn and a lot of great comedians. And the, the satire was great. I think that would be the most effective. If you, if you were to do something like that, that would be a very effective weapon that would uh, probably um, get other people, you know, uh, non- uh, uh, non-evil people within the uh, administration or the halls of power to kind of listen to you and, and that sort of thing. Comedy is your best weapon, and that's all I got to say. 
No, I hear you. I hear you. And it just it just somehow made me sick because it was so bizarro. It was so incredibly strange. Um, yeah. To you know to see that and and you know to just see all the weird weird enjoyment of it. Uh, it it's, it's just crazy. I mean, Charlton Heston doesn't deserve to be treated like that. And if it was even like jokes about him showing him like a crazy guy shooting guns, it'd be one thing. But he's going to hell. And he's a bad guy, and he's a piece of garbage, and all the rest of it, and the dead kids are his fault. And, and, and you know, they're saying it's our fault. I mean, I, they've said it's gun owners' fault, so I need to be killed, according to Buzz Bissinger, who spends $600,000 on women's clothes. You know, and again, it's people are like, oh, you only people wearing women's clothes. It's just like, what? what is the point of that? I mean, go, go give it to homeless kids. I mean, let me tell you something. I mean, I'm embarrassed sometimes when I buy like a $100 shirt or a $300 jacket. You know, I, I, and I'm not even saying it's bad to own things. It's just that, like, the, it's it's just weird. It's like Ameldo Marcos with, you know, 3,000 pairs of shoes. I don't know. I guess I got five, six pairs of boots. It's just, it's just, it's something weird about them. Because they're, they're all, like, fat off the hog of the system while lecturing us all day we need to pay more taxes. I mean, that Michael Moore clip where he goes, there's these white people that make fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year, and they live in the countryside, and they don't like black people. It's why they've got guns. They're scared white. What? Now, you know, they've got lots of money. And so they, I mean, it's like a class warfare against people making $60,000 a year is now an evil rich guy by some guy worth, I don't know, some estimates, $100 million, some are $50 million. I mean, it's just, it's screwed up, man. They're hypocrites. I appreciate your call. It, that's what gets to me. Let's talk to Joe in California. You're on the air uh, listening on KSCL 1340 AM. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, uh, my quick question was, uh, you probably heard it before, but why don't you take your movies to the big screens of the big cities, and if it's a money issue, why don't you start a fund on the prison planet where we could donate whatever we can to help fund that? I'd love and, uh, to go do speaking engagements. My issue is I have to be here to crank out the news, do the research, and try to build the TV end of this operation. Um, I, I mean, it's just I've got like uh, over 100 reports I want to do, uh, more than a hundred, and, and and I've got them in list and folders and like where are my little notebooks? There they are. Uh, of just it, it, it's total frustration, and I'm really listening to what Ted Nugent was saying about R and R. Uh, but uh, I would love it would be great to show thousands coming out all over the country. It would be great to show that to the media, but the establishment media already knows we're big. Uh, you know, and, and and again, it's grueling to fly through the TSA or driving them old bus we've got. It's a nice bus. But it's like 12 years old. It's like the space shuttle it has. I got a good deal on it because it's impossible to upkeep, so I didn't really get a good deal on it. it it's an okay deal. It's just that, uh, you know, the point is, uh, actually, it wasn't the best deal I could get. I mean, comparable things were like twice as much. We got a really good deal on it. It still has some maintenance and things as it's custom. But it, it, it's just, I just don't have it in me. Uh, and, and I also like it once I go on the road, but it's also very stressful. Plus, I'm trying to train and build a crew so that it's not just, you know, Alex Jones out here doing this. You see what I'm saying? I do. And also, hey, you know, I hear you saying you have that bus issues and the maintenance takes a lot of money, but you're helping us so much, all the listeners. You should uh, rely on us to help you out. Well, I mean, I'm. I mean, I drive. I've got. I've got a decent, you know, Ford truck and a and, and I'm, you know, a nice house out in the country and everything. And I'm trying to put. Pretty much this year, I'm trying to take every bit of money I get and put it, every bit of it into the fight. That's why we're talking about, you know, putting out uh, a million bumper stickers. I mean, I really want to give the globalists a run for their money. What I'm looking for, what's at the top of my hierarchy of needs, uh, you know, I have a chart of hierarchy of needs, is liberty and freedom and, 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 and reigniting individualism. Because if we become individualist again, and if we're not pushovers again, and if we stand up for ourselves then we can really build an incredible future uh, together. And so that's what I'm attempting to do. I appreciate your call, Joe. Hey, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to play a little bit of Hightower and, and then maybe play some more of it in Overdrive, come back in the next segment and take calls. But let's go ahead and go to some of the Jim Hightower interview from InfoWars uh, Nightly News that Rob Jacobson put together. Here it is. And... Then we will look up, go to break and come back. I got a chance to meet him years ago going on his radio show and I've run into him around Austin. And anybody who lives in Texas knows who he is. Of course, people that watch national news know him as well. He's a best-selling author. 
Uh, he is uh, known as the road warrior because he travels, he gives over 100 speeches a year. He was twice elected Texas Agriculture uh, Commissioner as well. And that's only the tip of the iceberg. I mean, he really has an amazing bio. Jim Hightower here in studio on the Nightly News. And then, of course, we're also going to air some excerpts of this uh, on the syndicated radio show. Great to have you, sir. Great to be with you. Thank you, Alex. I get the fact that America has been a swashbuckling, violent culture. Uh, and, and, and that guns are part of our culture. And I also understand the fact that overall violent crime has dropped 49% in the last 20 years because gun ownership's gone way up. They also say we took lead out of things, people aren't as violent. I think that feeds into it you know, as well, the whole lead effect. But this litmus test to, you know, to say let's restrict guns, the reason Bloomberg has no credibility is he's speaking from a place that's a total abolition on guns. Uh, same thing with Chicago, where they've taken all the guns and there's higher crime because criminals know that. I want you to take three or four minutes out where you stand on that because here's the issue. I can get people arguing, oh, come on, let's not have crazy people get guns. But really, it's a way to register mine and take them, which has happened everywhere else. We know that the authoritarian bent of government, while it arms to the teeth, is to take our guns. And that's why all the even progressives, you know, old time liberals, true populists, not the fake progressives, they're all out getting guns. Jim Hightower, where do you stand on the Second Amendment? And has Obama and Dianne Feinstein jumped the shark going after the Second Amendment? Uh, well, I, I, I don't think Feinstein, I don't, well, I'm not sure, but uh, I forget them. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I believe in the Second Amendment. Uh, I've been a hunter, I'm not now. Uh, for reasons to having nothing to do with guns, uh, but just not a hunter. Uh, but uh, and and I believe in self-defense. Uh, I don't believe in assault weapons in the home. Uh, I don't see any need for that, and I think the Second Amendment people are hurting themselves by maintaining that. As it's just too far beyond what is necessary. Uh, so well, how do we trust the state with it? Uh, well, trust the state. That's not... See, if they weren't... You can't trust the state. If the, the state. government wasn't escalating its armament, yeah. there wouldn't be the Second yeah. Amendment argument that it was for tyranny. Do you yeah. see, as they escalate, yeah. we have to escalate. Yeah, the 1.6 billion bullets, the Homeland Security bullets. Which they tried to deny. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that even creepier? No, they tried, tried to make your point. I'll shut up. Go ahead. Well, they tried to deny, and then they, uh, uh, and then they said, well, it's because we you can get a, get a better deal. <laughs> 1.6 billion bullets. Yeah. So see why we need the guns? Yeah, right. Go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, so you you don't trust the government. You don't trust corporations. You don't trust power anywhere except as diffuse as you can possibly make it. So in that argument for semi-autos? No, no. I I, I think that's too much. Uh, but it, why I, do you I, think that? But because semi-automatic weapons, you don't need it for defense. Uh, you, you, it, it's a uh, I don't know if you've seen any of what those bullets do. Yeah, they just show any, of course. Of they break things. up and things. But what oh, about when? What about people are using them against criminals, up. have them yeah. against you? Yeah. Don't you need to be able to meet that force? Uh, I think there's a lot of ways to do that, and I don't think that. Well, Jim, I respect the work you've done, and I think yeah. you're a trailblazer. And and for you know, what, what you call populist liberals, I, I think you're about as good as it gets, and I like you, <laughs> and I like a lot of your commentaries. I follow them, but I got to be honest, it's a litmus test with the Democratic Party to be anti-gun. And I think deep down, you know full well that it's about the individual. We can't collectively say everybody can't have these type of guns because people might do something wrong with them. Mm -hmm. you well, I, again, I, I'm not against having guns at all. I mean, I'm for the Second Amendment. But I think the, uh, the Second Amendment uh, crusade hurts itself by defending these use of these assault weapons. I, I don't think they ought to be Lanza, in our Lanza, at all. Lanza at Sandy Hook reportedly, he, got, he tried five times to get guns mm. and then stole them from his mother. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to, all these. No, I, I agree. You so then how does all this new stuff. You're not going to stop the crazy people either. Well, what if Adam Lanza is coming and he's got an AR-15, an M4. Don't I need one to take him out? I, I mean. Well, or you need luck. Or you need somebody else who's going to do something. Like Trust in God, but roll away from the rocks. Yeah, though. right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, I don't know. To, to, to me, the, 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 the central issue facing us is that too few people have too much of the money and power, and they're using that against the rest of us. Uh, so but Jim, worldwide, worldwide, the same corporations that are conquering America have taken everybody's guns. And they always say, be reasonable, give us semi-autos. And the nice guys like you, who are like, you know, don't want to hurt a fly, don't want to hunt because you don't want to kill Bambi. It's, it's funny, the older I get, the less I want to hunt. 
I get all that, but see, that's not where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. They're buying full auto, they're buying tanks, mm -hmm. they're doing all this, and our founders said, you've got whatever the infantry weapon is to protect yourself. Are you worried about a civil war in this country? Uh, not yet, but there's, again, people are being knocked down so hard and being told that it's the new normal, that you've got to learn to live with this. You're not gonna be middle class, mm -hmm. your kids are not gonna be middle class, mm -hmm. that there will be a rebellion over that. Uh, and, and that's not a war with bullets and guns. That, that, is, that is a war with economic power. Uh, oh, I agree. That's where the real power is. And, then the, and the First Amendment's even more powerful. We need to use that so we don't get to the second. We have the cartridge box, yes. the grand jury box, the jury box, the voting box. But we do have the cartridge box, and that's why the founders put it there. And I don't want it to go there, believe me. The beauty of the, of the drone issue is it's crossing all the lines, because uh, Ron Wyden, a Democrat uh, from Oregon, was standing up there. They're now questioning wedding. Obama. Yeah, well, of course, uh, and the Democratic caucus has written uh, a pretty uh, scathing letter to the Obama administration say, w you really need to tell us a whole lot more about these things and what your plans are, uh, because people are getting alarmed, because now we're learning that police agencies at all levels uh, are wanting to get a hold of these little things. Uh, the New York Times called them Orwellian gnats, uh, because yeah. they're talking about not a few, they're talking about 30,000 of them, uh, by 2020 uh, in, in our airspace. Now this worries airline pilots because uh, how do we control these things? It worries the FAA, it worries all kinds of civil liberties people, right and left. Uh, Did you see the Department of Defense video, if not we'll show a short clip of it, where a drone flies over and drops out hundreds of little ones that land on the uh, wire at your house and yeah, watch you? Exactly, yeah, that's what we're talking about. And they have another one called Swarm, uh, and it's a series of drones that can that can keep track of large amounts of people. So they're certainly gonna be used in demonstrations. I'll tell you what, let's show a short clip of that. Micro air vehicles, or MAVs, will play an important role in future warfare. MAVs will be integrated into future Air Force layered sensing systems. These systems may be airdropped or hand launched depending on the mission requirements. Multiple MAVs, each equipped with small sensors, will work together to survey a large area. Information from these sensors will be combined, providing the swarm of MAVs with a big picture point of view. Data will be communicated amongst the MAVs to enable real-time, reliable decision-making and to provide... We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years in serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System System today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. Do you suffer from low-functioning adrenal or thyroid gland? Did you know that mercury from your dental fillings comes off your teeth both as a vapor and as metal particles into your body? Wherever mercury deposits in your body, it stops cells from functioning normally. Animal studies show that mercury causes kidney function to drop by 60%. Mercury deposited into your adrenals or thyroid will cause a corresponding drop in function. The number one method by which your body detoxifies itself of mercury is glutathione. The number one superfood that helps turn on all 75 trillion cells of your body to produce glutathione is non-denatured whey protein from grass-fed cows. After investigating most high-end whey proteins on the market, only one is the most non-denatured, the most active, the most complete, and in our opinion, the most powerful in what nature originally put into the fresh raw whey. It is One World Whey. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325 or visit oneworldway.com. That's oneworld, W-H-E-Y.com. We've lived in this neighborhood for years. We have an alarm system and all of our doors have deadbolts. They kicked in our door and were in and out of our house in about five minutes. The police arrived in about 20 minutes, but 
They were long gone with our TV jewelry and my guns. I kept thinking, what if my family had been home? The police officer said that more than 85% of break-ins are through a door and that deadbolts alone don't stop intruders. The officer told me to go to easyarmor.net if we wanted something that would actually stop an intruder. Easy Armor reinforces all of the weak points on your doors and is guaranteed to prevent kick-ins. I was surprised at how little Easy Armor costs, and I installed Easy Armor in about 30 minutes. Visit easyarmor.net. That's the letters E-Z-A-R-M-O-R.net. Or call 888-58-ARMOR. That's 888-582-7667. Easyarmor.net. Ultimate door security made easy. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show. Because there's a war on for your mind. Let's try to run through a bunch of your phone calls. We're going to do a fourth hour of overdrive today that some stations do carry and uh, is in the internet streams at Infowars.com. Uh, Richard Reeves is going to be in here talking about InfowarsHealth.com and some really important developments on that front and a new study that's out, Clemson study. And it also supports the broadcast and it's also a business opportunity for folks. So we're funded by listeners like you who we really appreciate. These are stressful times, man. People know the world's in a major time of change, and we've all, the patriots, have got to stick together and really fight hard for liberty. Let's talk to Glenn in Tennessee. You're on the air, listening on GCNlive.com. Go ahead. Well, good afternoon, Alex. How are you? I'm good. Uh, thanks for holding. Uh, welcome. And a pleasure to be here, and I wanted to thank you. You have indeed woken a lot of people up. But uh, I called today because I have a bit of a bone to pick with InfoWars on an article that I wrote last year that they used as one of their chief references, Ethan Huff. Uh, I know you have quoted it on the show. And uh, uh, the, the media... Okay, Glenn, I don't... I, I mean, uh, what, what's the name of the article? Let me just get a pen here. In memoriam, Andrew Wordis. You remember Andrew, the chicken man, they called him. Yes, yes, the guy they basically uh, killed. Well, they did indeed. And my point was the banality of evil in this country and, and the internal enemy is more dangerous than the external, as bad as the gender. But what did I do is. wrong? I sent reporters there to cover it, and I said it was wrong. You they did. killed him. You did. But, what but what you else can I do, man? Did. I can't even keep track of what my own crew's doing half the time. It's not like I'm all seeing, man. I, you know. I'll answer you if you'll allow me. Go sir. ahead. Um, it's uh, the the reporters you sent turned it into an Agenda 21 story when it really wasn't, if you listen to his friends and family. It was the banality of evil of local bureaucrats doing this. I agree, and Agenda 21 empowers them with a more scientifically designed template to manifest their evil. Yes, they do. Um, but th that was my point. I tried writing Ethan Huff and, uh, to make the correction, and I never got a response. And that was that was the yeah. Ethan Huff paper. doesn't doesn't write for us. So we we link to somebody's stuff. God, God bless you, sir. I, you know what? I am a piece of garbage. You're right. I'm a piece of filth, and I'm sorry that I didn't do more. You're. I mean, I really am. I, I don't know what I could do. I don't know how I do it. I tried to stop. I don't like them killing people for chickens in their backyard that that are legal. And I fought it. Uh, and I understand it's frustrating. But I'm a piece of garbage. I mean, it's true. Uh, Gary in Illinois, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, how you doing, Alex? I'm doing all right, hey, brother. I'm 150 percent on the all the guys' side, man. Hey, check this out. My question is off the beaten path here. You know that place they found down there in the Ozarks and shit where Jesse and his crew went, right? Well, anyway, I was wondering about. Do you know maybe what they painted them walls with? Could it be the same stuff that they used in the Twin Towers? Because it's no longer a conspiracy theory. Well, we know that an NSA top guy has built a giant armored fortress, and they've been doing underground digging under it and hauling away tons of rock for and, and, and dirt for three years. So they've got a large facility there, and they flip out if you get around it. And uh, I just want to apologize to the last caller for that. It's my fault that's happening. Uh, so I am apologize for the Ozark bunker. I'm being sarcastic. What did you think of the Ted Nugent interview? Pretty powerful. Man, Teddy's all the way. It's because of him, my eyes are open. And Jesse and you, man, I appreciate it very much. You know, well, yeah, and I don't agree with everything Jesse Ventura says. Uh, not at all. But, not at all. but he's a real guy. He loves liberty. He says, when the government turns their guns in, I will. And it's the same thing with Ted Nugent. I don't agree with everything uh, he says or does, you know, when he gets off into the Muslims and stuff, because the globalists run all that. But I'm trying to wake him up on that area. And he is a listener of the show. 
Uh, and so, you know, I'm able to then wake up all his fans by, you know, uh, my whole deal is if people are real and can be gotten to to wake up and if they really want a better world, then I like them. But if they're fake, cold-blooded globalists, I'm their enemy. And so uh, that's what it comes down to. I love real people. Thank you so much, Gary. Overdrive coming up. I'm going to come back with a Mac and Devon and Brian. And then Richard Reeves is in here with some breaking information. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. If you're listening, you know your basic freedoms are being threatened every day. If you're listening, you know the economy is not getting better. You know gas and food prices are skyrocketing. Now is the time to get prepared. For years, we've told you about our friends at eFoods Direct. They have the best tasting, long-term storable food on the planet. This food will taste just as great 25 years from now as it does tonight. A long-term food supply allows you to freeze the cost and the availability of the one thing you need most. Be prepared and get your supply from eFoods Direct. Right now is the best time to stock up and save hundreds of dollars with free shipping on all food supplies. Give yourself peace of mind and be prepared. Act now and call 800-409-5633 or visit eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Get free shipping on all orders for a limited time. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. You can bet your life on eFoods Direct. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas... Alex Jones. All right, let's jam in a bunch of calls in this little short segment. Then we've got breaking health news. Richard Reeves coming up. Very important information. Uh, let's talk to uh, Mac in Texas. Then I got to talk to Brian, who says ways to love the new world order. Uh, I want to like, get on a big razor blade and slide down it into a pool of uh, alcohol. Is that, that that sounds like loving the new world order? Uh, Mac, you're on the air from Tejas. Go ahead. Hey, uh, Alex. Hello, how you doing? Good, sir. Yeah. Welcome. All right. Hey, uh, it's nice to finally, finally uh, talk to you, man. I, I'm not kind of feel what people go through when they talk to me for the first time. I feel like I've known you. I've been I've only been listening to you for about two years, but you got me fired up two years ago, and, and I've been around Dallas. Uh, when I first heard about you and I started doing research, I, I, got a, I bought a hundred pack of those business cards, and I've been leaving them on trains and passing them to people and taping them at schools. And I've been putting dumper stickers all over the place. But the, the reason I called today was two two questions. One was, uh, you're not all in Dallas anymore on 1630 AM, KKGM. And uh, the only way I can listen to you is on the phone. And I, I, I believe in my heart it's really important for you to be on, especially in this in a city like Dallas, that is heavily steeped in the occult. With everything no, no, we were on in Dallas, I don't know, like two and a half, three years. And then they changed formats and... That's just the way things like that go, uh, and uh, it's it's just unfortunate that uh, that it, it's it, it's not the general manager; it's the guy's father, uh, and uh, you know, who owns stations across the country. I think, um, and also, it's not good to go on Christian stations and say that you know there's not that that, that it's a post tribulation rapture. I mean, I'm just guessing what it could be, but that's just unfortunate. Uh, but affiliates come and go. You know, that's why we have the free iPhone app, the free Droid apps, and the Listen page, Infowars.com forward slash listen. Uh, and that's why we uh, make the films, and that's why we have the YouTube videos, and it's why, because affiliates come and go. I mean, I can't tell you how many times we become number one in a city. Even on a small station, we'll beat Rush Limbaugh, uh, you know, in Rochester, New York, or in um, places in Florida, like Orlando, or... Uh, and, you know, in places like San Diego, and then the station just says, "Y'all, you're you're off." Uh, yeah, that was just a management decision. Yeah, see, being number one is a problem when you're telling the truth. Uh, and uh, they always say it's be, just get the highest ratings, and and you'll uh, you know you'll be the top of the heap. And that's not how it works. Uh, I mean, you've got to be interesting and get ratings and push what they want. But notice Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, all of them. 
are having to more and more sound like Alex Jones. You see, yeah. I'm not changing, they're changing. And I'm going to completely force through their audiences, that's my greatest uh, success, to the grace of God, is that I now hear myself when I tune into Glenn Beck. I now hear myself on Rush Limbaugh. I now hear myself on Michael Savage. I now, more and more, the ideas of our guests, the callers, myself, of real liberty, we are taking them over, not the other way around. Uh, and it's happening. And and, and and it's thanks to DrudgeReport.com and other people that, you know, uh, really love liberty. And, and does it mean Drudge is perfect? Does it mean I'm perfect? Does it mean World Net Daily is perfect? No. But you know what? We're pro-private property rights. We're pro-family. We're pro-gun. We're pro-national sovereignty. And we're getting down to the end game here for the globalist. And uh, this is a life-risking event for me. I mean, make no mistake. I'm out of time. Uh, thank you, caller. Uh, I'm sorry. But Brian, real quick, tell me how to love the New World Order. Go ahead. Well, that... I do it. Matthew 5... Chapter 43 says, you've heard it said, to love your neighbor and hate your enemy. I tell you, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. Don't even, uh, he says, what, uh, what reward will you get if you only love your Yeah, but own? Jesus also Jesus beat the money changers Jesus. with a bull whip, with a cat or nine tail, and overturned their tables. He said, go buy a sword. It's all in the time. It's like when he turns the other cheek, they were going to set him up and kill him. It was all teaching us. And those that have ears to hear, we understand it. The others don't. All right, coming in the seat right here, Richard Reeves. Stay, stay with him. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. As many as 7.5 million Americans have psoriasis, and many of them suffer in silence, hiding their itching, flaking, and discomfort. If you're living with psoriasis, your new life begins now when you call for a risk-free trial of Ceriderm. Ceriderm provides fast topical relief of skin psoriasis. Ceriderm helps to stop the itching, irritation, redness, and flaking caused by your psoriasis. Even if you've tried everything else, even if you've suffered for years, imagine living without discomfort and embarrassment and without wearing long clothes to hide your psoriasis. We're so confident you'll love your skin after using Ceriderm that we're offering it risk-free. But you have to call now. Just call 1-800-207-3483. That's 1-800-207-3483. Try Ceriderm risk-free. Just call 1-800-207-3483. That's 1-800-207-3483. We travel so much, and having a fake TV, well, it gives added peace of mind. Burglars look for houses that appear to be easy targets. But fake TV can fool even professional burglars into thinking someone is home watching television. As a recent widow living alone, it gives me great peace of mind to set my fake TV near a window and know that passing motorists and pedestrians will think someone is home watching TV when I'm actually away from home. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet, just like a light on a timer. And they're so easy to use, you just plug them in and they're ready to go. Plus, they're so affordable that we have one upstairs and downstairs. Fake TV is only $29.95 with free shipping. Order your fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. 
Welcome back to Infowars.com. I am your guest host here, Richard Reeves. What an honor and privilege to be thrown into the hot seat here. And uh, welcome, everybody, for staying into Overdrive. And if you missed the earlier hours of today's show, make sure and catch the archive. Make sure and catch the repeats, the YouTubes, the archives of Infowars.com today. Alex Jones had a fantastic interview with Ted Nugent on earlier today, and it was just awesome. You'll definitely want to hear everything they had to say in that interview. Folks, thank you for joining us. We are live still in this fourth hour of Overdrive, and we've invited a very special guest on today with us, Tom Chenault with Longevity, one of the big distributors with Longevity, also part of our InfoWars team as an honorary member of InfoWarsTeam.com. So we've got Tom on with Skype on us. And uh, a little bit about Tom before we intro Tom is he's got his own radio show. He's had the longest running radio show on uh, the home business side of uh, the home business network side of the um, of the business. Tom Chenault has had the longest running home-based business show. I'm sorry. I uh, got a little bit nervous there. But anyway... Tom has had a long-running show based about home business, and he covers it like no other. I've heard his show many times on GCNlive.com, and he's covered this like for 20-plus years. And plus, he's been a big distributor with Longevity now going on 15-plus years, so he can really talk about the ins and outs of the business. One thing that has prompted us to have Tom on and invite him on is because the InfoWars team has said has had so much interest lately from preferred customers out there on InfoWars team in becoming distributors. There are more and more people interested in becoming distributors to learn about how to promote InfoWars team and how to promote InfoWars health and get more products out there, more great health products out there. So Tom has had the long running radio show. He's also uh, he was a great salesman of very highly successful corporate salesman selling aircraft for the Beach Aircraft Company. So he's had a pretty amazing variant jobs during his life, variant, uh, varying levels of career in his life. He also went on to become a stockbroker during the dot-com heyday of the 1980s. He got into network marketing 24 years ago and was named one of the top 25 network marketers in the world by the Multi-Level Marketing International Association. He has the longest home-running base business radio show, as I mentioned earlier, and he's heavily involved in industry associations in an attempt to slow down and show that people, that network marketing is an important and profitable career. Folks, I've looked at a lot of business opportunities lately uh, to see what's out there competing with InfoWars team and InfoWars Health. Uh, I know a lot of folks have looked at real estate and things like that. And I had an interesting comparison come up with real estate where you can get leveraged and end up borrowing about $100,000 to leverage a nice piece of property or maybe even a fixer-upper nowadays. $100,000 gets you a fixer-upper. And you may end up, after you've gone all in and invested all your cash, you may have an opportunity to have three or $400 cash flow after you've invested Five or ten thousand of your own dollars plus put your credit on the line to the tune of a hundred thousand dollars. So when you compare those opportunities like that, as good as real estate is, let me tell you folks, I don't really want to knock real estate either because many, many millionaires have been made in real estate. It's really amazing how many investors have really done well with real estate. But when you hear the opportunity that InfoWars team, InfoWars Health deliver above and beyond with way less risk and more opportunity. I tell you, it really gets people fired up. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and introduce Tom Chenault. Tom, are you on the line with us? I am right here. How you doing, Richard Reeves? It's an honor to be on the show. I really, really appreciate it. Well, Tom, thank you for being willing to come on. And as I stated earlier, we just have more and more people that are asking, how do I become distributors? Is that a question that you're getting a lot nowadays? Yeah, I, I hear it a ton. And the reason is, is because it's the last house on the block. Everybody expected so many things to be the solution to their problem, whether it was 401k or their job or whatever it is. And quite frankly, everything else is failing us. And it's great to want to buy real estate, you know, and I, I like buying real estate. You know, I buy gold, I buy silver, I buy all that stuff. But guess what? It takes money to buy that. And when your income's getting cut back, it's a little bit impossible to think about buying things that are going to create residual income. You can't 
participate in an oil drilling program, buy a rental house or buy gold and silver if you don't have excess cash. And that's why people are flocking to the InfoWars team. Yes, Tom, I agree with you. And we do get those emails every day. Uh, if you go to InfoWars team, InfoWars Health, and you are a preferred customer and you want to see about becoming a distributor, just check on there on those websites, InfoWars Health, InfoWars Team, Dot com and you will find an email there, Catherine at InfoWars Team. She can help you and take the steps to upgrade from preferred customer and distributor. There's the website right there. By the way, the InfoWarsHealth.com product order line, in case you don't have a computer, it's 1-888-789-9277, 1-888-789-9277. But, Tom, we got a little bit ahead of ourselves. You know, we started talking uh, about how many folks really are jumping on board into becoming distributors of the products. But one of the main reasons that's, that, that's happening is because of this Clemson study that just came out here in early January of 2013. The Clemson study came out where they're talking about two of the keystone products of Longevity and InfoWars Health, InfoWars Team are the Beyond Tang Tangerine and the Ultimate Classic. And it showed how in multiple situations with uh uh, the cancerous colon cells, cancerous liver cells, cancerous stomach cells, cancerous breast cells, that these two products are really reducing those numbers of cells. And so this Clemson study really has prompted an influx of more interest into the company. Tom, can you elaborate on that? Well, it's one of those studies that wasn't paid for by the companies. You hear about, especially, you know, it's ridiculous that you take a look at the pharmaceutical companies that fund all these studies and end up obviously getting paid big, big money, and that's how they keep us sick. And this is a whole different conversation. Clemson did not get paid to do that study on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the various Longevity products. They chose Longevity because they wanted to test something that was already generating great results. And all you need to do is call somebody or email somebody over at the Alex Jones team, InfoWars team, and you're going to be able to get a copy of that Clemson study where you can read with your own eyes exactly what was said by them about these products. I mean, I don't make product claims, never thought about doing that. All I can tell you is if you can read, you're going to say to yourself, I have got to have my loved ones and myself on these great products. That study is that much of a testimonial. Well, folks, I'll tell you, I personally joined on the InfoWars team back in January 2011 when Alex first started promoting InfoWars team, and that was in January 2011. He had Doc Wallach on his first interview there during that time, and I signed up right away, and I joined up as part of the team, and I've been getting some variant of the Healthy Star Pack ever since, and I'll tell you, it's really, really been great, uh, and the number of testimonials that I hear from preferred customers of InfoWars team all the time are amazing. As a matter of fact, I remember about a year ago, a little over a year ago, we went to Dallas and did a live event in Dallas, in Dallas and Alex spoke at the event there at the Lakewood Theater. And I remember during the Q&A that there was at least one person, there were several people with testimonials for the InfoWars team products. There's quite a few testimonials, but one in particular that I really recall that he credited Alex and bringing forth these products to his awareness as saving one of his relatives' lives. I mean, that's how great these products are and how helpful and beneficial they have been to a lot of, a lot of people. That this person stood up there and said, you saved, and I don't remember which of his relatives he said, but he said, you, you saved their life with you bringing their awareness about the need for supplements, the need for nutrition, and bringing these products on board and aware to the uh, to the infowars.com public and audience so it was really a powerful statement that night and tom i'm sure you hear a lot of those testimonials as well it's constant you know the neat thing about building a home-based business around a product that this is this emotional is you hear stories like that every day and we are so nutritionally deficient as a society out there that anybody that gets out there and starts drinking the Beyond Tangy Tangerine or any one of the Longevity products, they're going to notice immediate 
immediate results. And it's going to be exciting because we are starving to death. There's no nutrition in the foods. There's no nutrition in the soils. So they've got to go someplace. And Dr. Wallach and Steve Wallach, the team behind Longevity, I am telling you, they have delivered a product line that just anybody can sell. And that's the exciting thing about being involved as a business building Longevity rep. You've got the ability to sell and get paid on a product that's far better than you are a salesman. Tom, I couldn't say that any better. And you always have a great way with words on those type of things. Uh, one of the uh, things that you wanted to talk about were the reasons for the stigma behind network marketing. Why do a lot of people have uh, kind of a negative view on network marketing? What's caused that over the years? You've been involved in this industry for many years. Give us a breakdown on that. I've got 25 years in the industry, and it is really, really an unbelievably great industry that you don't ever want to tell anybody in the past that you were involved with. And the reason was because there was a predecessor company called Amway out there. Great company. They're doing billions of dollars a year, but they just literally recruit, sneaked up on everybody on the planet. So everybody's afraid of being one of those kinds of guys. And I'm telling you, you don't need to be one of those kinds of people. You've got a problem product that you can absolutely scream from the rooftops with us. But the reason people failed wasn't that. The reason they 99% of the people fail out there is because they didn't have the team support. And the cool thing is with the InfoWars team, the training is in place. It is all, it's literally automated. And all you need to do is get in the system and do what the InfoWars team people teach you to do. And you're going to start building literally overnight. It is exciting. Tom, I tell you, it is exciting. We're about to go to break. We've got one more segment left with Tom Chenault. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Alex Jones. Myself, my family, the InfoWars.com team want to relay to you and your families that we are intensifying our efforts against the globalist on every front. InfoWars.com is leading the fight against the technocrats. But we can't do that without your help. By getting the films, bumper stickers, and t-shirts at InfoWars.com, you will wake up people in your area and support our operation as we move to the next level level. We need your help to spread the word like never before. They wish to hide themselves during this tectonic battle between the forces of freedom and darkness. You are the response to the globalist technocrats and their program of global eugenics dehumanization and ultimate extermination. The war is here. It's an info war. The spirit of 1776 versus the mindset of 1984. Attention men, if you're urinating more often or waking at night to urinate, we want to send you a free bottle of Beta Prostate. Beta Prostate is our best-selling supplement made with a natural ingredient that supports healthy urine flow and more complete bladder emptying. It's also been shown to reduce waking at night from the urge to urinate. To find out how to get your free bottle, just call 800-607-6984. Since Beta Prostate debuted, our warehouse has shipped over 2 million bottles. But there are still men who have yet to discover this amazing supplement. That's why for a limited time, you can try a full 30-day supply of Beta Prostate free. You only pay shipping and handling. This free Beta Prostate giveaway is only available while supplies last. And once it's gone, it's gone. Just call 800-607-6984. That's 800-607-6984. Six zero seven six nine eight four. Call eight hundred six zero seven six nine eight four. Hi, this is John O'Toole with Midas Resources, Gold and Silver Company. We have all heard of Rand Paul warning of an intimate currency crisis as a result of reckless spending on Capitol Hill and endless wars overseas. But what are we doing to prepare for it? China, India, and numerous other countries are buying up gold and silver by the ton because they know what's really going on. Don't you think it's time you do the same thing before it's too late? Call me, John O'Toole, today at 1-800-686-2237, extension 133, and find out why gold and silver have been the true safe havens for over 5,000 years. That's 1-800-686-2237. 2237 extension 133. I'll send you a booklet highlighting 10 reasons why gold and silver are the only way to preserve your purchasing power. 
Again, that's 1-800-686-2237, extension 133. Guys, you've heard about Ageless Male, the natural supplement that helps boost testosterone levels within normal, healthy ranges. But now, the best testosterone product is even better. New and improved Ageless Male can help you feel more like you used to in your active life and in your romantic life. Because our upgraded formula has been clinically shown to increase your drive, desire, and performance. That's right, guys. Ageless Male has been clinically shown to boost performance. Cancel your plans this weekend you're staying in if you're ready to recapture the drive from your youth now is the time to try ageless mail because it's available risk-free but you must call now just call 1-800-501-0876 be the guy you used to be just call 1-800-501-0876 that's 1-800-501-0876 1-800-501-0876 You've got it. Welcome back, folks, to the Alex Jones Show, InfoWars.com. I am your guest host, Richard Reeves. And once again, I want to thank Alex Jones for plopping me in this Attila the Hun T-Rex of political talk chair here. It's a pretty scary uh, thing to uh, try to think about. But anyway, here I am. And we've got Tom Chenault, our special guest. We're live. This is our last segment today, March 26th of 2013. And make sure and tune in to the early hours of the Alex Jones Show today. He had a great interview with Ted Nugent. Pretty awesome show there. For I think they went on for about an hour and a half. So don't miss the earlier three hours of the show today. Make sure and catch one of those archives and tune in. All right, we've got Tom. And Tom, we've only got about five minutes left here before we're going to wrap up the show. And uh, one of the questions I'd like to ask you is, what exactly is a professional network marketer. You know, somebody that takes this business really, really seriously, you've got Alex Jones out there and he is creating a cause. He's got a mission and the guy works nonstop and supporting him with InfoWarsTeam.com and going out there and talking about this nutrition, taking our health back, taking our money back and taking our time back, take some training. And the way that you do that is you become a professional network marketer. And the cool thing about that is, is the systems are in place already at InfoWarsTeam.com. We just need people for the chairs. And if you'll just jump in and call Catherine or call Richard or call Alex and just say, I want to learn a little bit more about what it is you're talking about, about being a professional network marketer and leading a team on this cause called Better Nutrition, More Time, More Money. I'll tell you what, we'll train you. We'll teach you how to teach people how to do this business because this isn't one of those things where you're jamming something down the throats of your friends and family. We're going to train you to deliver a professional message to people that lets them understand exactly what's at stake if they don't do it, which is loss of time, loss of money, loss of health. And we're going to get you involved with the products and we're going to get you involved with this cause and you're going to help Alex Jones, you're going to help Richard, you're going to help Catherine, and you're going to help a whole lot more other people help themselves. And we'll teach you how to do that. That's the simple short story. And that's really the key, simple, short story. Uh, some of the folks, one of the folks who got left out, and you're going to be helping Doc Wallach, especially as, you know, on his mission. He's been on this mission to help get people on board with their health for 20, 25, 30 years. He really is on the cutting edge of getting things figured out, why people are obese, why people are sick, why people are tired. And he's really getting that dialed in. Doc Wallach's mission, Alex Jones' mission. Folks, when you get on the board with InfoWars team and InfoWarsHealth.com, you are helping Alex Jones and Doc Wallach. And don't forget, with Doc Wallach, he's gone against the FDA six or seven times. Tom, how many times against the FDA? Uh, it's, it's too many to count. And who he is, if, if you really want to describe Dr. Wallach in language people can understand, he could be described as the... Alex Jones of nutrition. 
He is not afraid to look anybody in the eye and state what he believes to be true, no matter what the consequences. We need more people like him on this planet. And when we meet a message that needs told, Alex's or Dr. Wallach's, we need to lock arms and tell that story. And that's why I'm on here today is to try to help find some leaders to help us spend this, uh, kick this message out to the world. So, yeah. And Tom, fortunately, more leaders are arising out of the ranks of InfoWars team. We want to thank all y'all out there that have been on InfoWars team for more than two years now and InfoWars Health in the last six to eight months. Those organizations are both growing very rapidly. And folks, I want to let everybody know also, uh, those of you that have been active, we've got the convention coming up May 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Get a chance to meet Tom and Doc Wallach and a whole host of folks. Mary Lou Henner's going to be there. Who all else is going to be there, Tom, during the uh, convention? How about Ben Fuchs? How about Dr. Peter Glidden, Dr. Wallach, the whole management team? I mean, it's Theo Ratliff, the basketball player that's on the show a lot. I mean, it's going to be over the top, and you're going to get to actually meet, and all the team. I mean, you take a look at the Laura Shigaris and the people that are inside of your team right now. It is amazing how many great people that have come together to spread the cause of InfoWarsTeam.com. I mean, it is crazy, and all you need to do is plug in, get to Las Vegas, and it'll be a blast. Tom, we've got about 30 seconds left. What would you like to close out with? I'm just telling you, if you do nothing else today, go to InfoWarsTeam.com, send them an email, tell them you want to explore the possibility of becoming a team leader for the Alex Jones, Dr. Wallach message. Thanks, Richard. Tom, thank you so much for coming on. Folks, don't miss the earlier three hours of the show with Alex Jones and Ted Nugent, a very powerful program. And make sure and tune in tomorrow to InfoWars.com and follow march. Tom's advice and the visit Empire's InfoWars on team. The run. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Alex bye. Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Introducing Pro One, all of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system